All as right. you were saying. Anyways, I'll go ahead and get started then. I can go to life. Uh, yes, I'm just kidding. Let's see. Oh, we are in the OC chat. Uh... Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, guys, just let me know if if my audio gets crappy, and uh, we'll we'll figure it out from there. Okay. Yeah. Because this is a test run for my stuff. Uh, as if not every single session is at this point. <laughs> we can always do the direct chat if things go bad. I think that does help with it. Okay. Now. Oh, wait, I think I have my phone still vibrate. One sec. Five. Uh. <laughs> oh. Huh? Okay. Now. Oh. I got my glasses. And I need those to see my screen. Where did Harold go? I'm still know. here. I'm. I was just. I was just silent for a moment. Let's see, make sure my volume's working. All right. So, where we last left off, you all had taken up the assignment to the, the from the agricultural guild and figuring out the mysterious disappearance of the great serpent. <laughs> as well as the disappearance of the shepherd of the forest. And as you as you all went off with the with Little Flame in tow, you all decided to take the the longer route as as suggested by Aradura as and as to be a, a safer route from uh, from the threats that are within the forest. But as you made your way to the cross <laughs> to the fork in the road, you all decided to, uh, with came a general consensus, uh, consensus of moving on to the uh, to the warden's helm, where you learn that not only where Ari Jira's husband. Why is it quiet? Whoa. Uh, I think something's happening to uh, McConey. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and continue until I mentioned otherwise. But, so as you all, and me, meeting up with with her, her husband, you all made your way to the uh, keep, where you noticed that there was a bit of not only uh, wear and tear to it, but also that there's been a bit of a conflict taking place. You discover that there had, they've that the uh, that the wardens have been assaulted on a constant basis by werebeasts, more in particular werejackals and werewolves. And during and as you all uh, got into some heat heat tensions, you've also uh, had moments where you start to explore the keep. And as and as the day was winding to a close with the sun setting. You received a message that the Sentinel, the leader of 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 this of this fact of this group, wanted to meet with you. You all, except for Stax, made your way upstairs and were about to meet this Sentinel. So as you all en uh, enter the door, you find a rather a pleasant look, looking room, one that you wouldn't uh, typically find in the place of someone who is interested in whatever sort of career they're they're, they're pursuing. So, seeing how eh, this is the place of the Sentinel, you notice that there's a whole a whole bunch of various the things dedicated to the area around it, such as map, you see maps that are drawn all over, focusing on the various parts of the province. You 
see a grand table that shows the entire province of Ithen. And you even see some uh, some books stacked upon that, that seem to be dedicated to a particular subject. And in that room, you also see two figures. Oh, did my roll 20 crash? I don't okay. know. I know. Okay, it looks like it's fine now. So, as you, and as you enter, you notice that these two figures, there is a quite a difference in height. One of which is around the size of a gnome, who, in fact, it is a deep gnome with, uh, with a skin tone as, as gray as ash. And just like all the traditional male gnomes, it was completely bald and have a hooked nose. And hold on a sec. The roll 20 just died on me. Give me a moment. Is Hell tipping in and out for anyone else? No, but Just you here. were. Mm-hmm. Okay. But roll but 20 I, crashed for him. Yeah. yeah, it just crashed, but it's, uh, I'm bringing it back up. Okay. But as, and you know, and he seems to be wearing rather fine, a rather fine looking sash across, that goes across his body, as well as you see him still, even though he has that symbol of potential authority, you notice he is dressed in a very similar way uh, that is similar uh, to the other people who dwell here. You also notice a rather large individual who's sitting at the desk, uh, at a desk with, that faces directly at the door with the with the light shining down behind him from this, from this uh, grand window, you see before you a rather hairy individual, covered from head to toe in pretty much fur and hair, with with three claw, the, the scar-like claw marks across his face, complete with a beard and a flat nose. You can tell that this person not only has experience, but also wears a similar sash compared to the Deep Gnome. And you also notice that he is a bugbear. A oh, bugbear. Oh. You <laughs> fucking what? A bugbear? Yeah, what is that? A uh, goblinoid like creature. The big one. Let me show you what a bugbear is. Nervoy grabs his axe and slams into the ground, pointing at the thing at this. Goes, what the fuck is that thing doing here? Whoa, whoa, calm down. My audio's cutting in and out real bad. I'm gonna turn my mic off. And okay. <laughs> so, as so as you say this, Neo, the 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 person who warned you before opening the door just mutters to himself. This happens every time. <laughs> what? Oh boy. And Neo's and mad. Oh, and of course he is. It, it is at this moment that you notice that these two seem to be conversing for a moment, but but Neo shouts, turns and gives the gets the bug this bugbear's attention, Good. and looks straight at him. <laughs> That never gets old. <laughs> oh boy. And, and uh, you also notice that the deep num the deep numb just slowly caught but not it has, but not out of fear, just slowly takes a step back. Almost as if it's a a normal procedure. Heading in and out for me. It's just you, my guy. Yeah, you, something's wrong with the earth and... But as... And as you... Uh, and you take note that he slowly stands up. Standing around a close... Similar to the height of Neo, but slightly shorter <laughs> than him. <laughs> he then gestures to the seat and just like... How about we sit down instead of... Instead of focusing on being 
feeding others into a pulp. I'll stay in thanks. <laughs> he just he just gestures with his hand, tilts his head, adds saying, "Very well." <laughs> and uh, the same thing, he offers each and every one of you uh, a seat, while the deep numb people <laughs> is busy preparing something. I sit down and thank him for uh, for his hospitality. Mm-hmm. My thanks. Well, glad to know someone has manners. <laughs> Sorry, they teach that in Haverock. Hey man, C- calm down. All right, you, let's... you seen what a bugbear can do, flame boy? <laughs> No, but I mean, look at him. Does he look harmful to you? Extremely. <laughs> yeah, and you look absolutely terrifying to me, and yet, look, we're, we're still buds, right? Because you know I can crush you. Okay, uh, just... just, <laughs> just dude, your axe is in the floor. Seriously? Yeah, with that, I pull the axe up. <laughs> now it's not an okay. Can you just put the axe away? I don't actually ever put the axe away. You know what you got a point. Oh boy! <laughs> I'll listen to it, but I'll be watching its every move. There you you're, go. You're more than welcome to. Oh, and just as an act of good faith, I'll keep I'll keep my hands up on the desk. <laughs> and he does Thanks. so. <laughs> see a man is, as a gesture <laughs> to the bugbear. You see, he's a good man. Now let's just that sit re- down. I, that remains to be calm seen. Down. Just, just calm down. And sit. Look. Look, there, there are chairs, and I don't know if any of these are big enough for you. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. I can hear you. But I like... hope that fixed it. <laughs> okay. I said I'd stand, Nether. Back off. Cadenza is... That you're tallest. <laughs> Let's just see what he has to say, please. Well, let, yeah. let uh, Cadenza... Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, what were you going to say? I think she cut out again. Ah. <laughs> yep, Try it sounds Rick. like it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Try <and> Rick. <laughs> Can someone fill me in, please? Yeah. So basically, um, the you figured out that that the person in front you see in front of you a bugbear, and Neo is flipping out because it's a bugbear, and the the deep gnome is just. Just seems to be preparing drinks for you all. So the bugbear is comparing drinks every single time I minimize. No, no, freaking... not the bugbear. The uh, yeah. gnome is preparing I'll, drinks. I'll, I'll DM. Oh, you. oh no, yeah. Okay. What every single time I minimize my Discord, it's cutting out my audio, and I don't know why. Could that hmm. be a setting thing? I don't. No, <laughs> Luna had stepped on my computer last night, and it's really pissing oh. me off. Oh, yeah, something may have yeah. changed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Luna, what did you do? You could always Google no, it and you... see what happened. Yeah, but this should not be happening. I didn't realize that she had walked on it this much. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm not happy about. This. Sorry. No, it's all right. No, no, it's not. Uh, game. Oh. Huh? Maybe... Okay, someone talk. Hey. Yo. Hello. Hello. Whoa. I think I fixed it. <laughs> okay, that's good. God damn it, cat. <laughs> I told you, cats are you know evil. Better than then to walk on- I love you, but no walking on my computer! Okay, sorry. So, there's a bugbear and a gnome. 
Neo. Neo is preparing drinks. Yeah. And Neo and, and Neo is getting ticked off at the Neo doesn't like presence. the bugbear. He doesn't like the bugbear. Okay. And and the bugbear is is somewhat um, you can tell he's some somewhat amused as if he, he's had this routine before as he puts <laughs> his hand on a desk to show that he's not going to try anything. Be amused until I put him through the fucking window. Cause I'm just, just gonna stand in the corner and ask for a drink. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and, <laughs> and and as as you two as you all begin to sit down, except for Neo. I am not so, one. I am offers, not one. Cadenza standing as well. Okay. So oh. the the deep gnome offers each of you a cup of what appears to be red wine. Is this? Yeah. Wine? Cadenza sniffs the wine and swirls it in the cup. That is something I have not had in some time. I don't think I've ever had this. <laughs> I take okay. a sip of it. All right. So, and, and you, as you take a sip, and you taste it, just like as normally, they would have that sort of that sort of taste of red wine. You know, you you pause for a moment. Seems to be normal. Nothing, nothing that shouts, I'm going to die or something. <laughs> it's completely normal. Um, it's good that the DM referred to the fact that it's not poison when none of us are asked. Yeah. And I was going to roll for it too, thank you. You are welcome. <laughs> not taking the wine, by the way, if you didn't guess. Yeah, I figured as much. So as... And as you all are are getting a little comfortable uh, to an nope. extent, to to an nope. extent, nope. <laughs> the the bugbear speaks. He says, "Now, let me to introduce myself. I am the sent. I am the sentinel of of the of the wardens, and my name is Urus. I I've heard that you are all here." For a particular mission for the agricultural guild. Yes, <laughs> and it is a pleasure to meet you. Danza's mm -hmm. yeah. eyebrow raises at uh, Sid's pleasure to meet you, but she's still unsure what the Sentinel wants with them. We do want to uh, know what it is you want with us. Hmm. Well, as you can see. We don't normally have people approach the the helm, so it was a bit of a surprise on our on our end. And I assume that, from what I've heard, that you were seeking something from us. Uh, we did want information. If you know anything that is happening here, that might help. Mm. Anything about the snakes that went missing, or. Uh... About the guardian mm -hmm. or the he, shepherd. He, I mean. sl shepherd. he slowly nods his head as he strokes the the small beard that he has on his chin. Almost, almost looks like he's scratching it. Well, I'm. We've recently received a report in regards to the fate of some of the serpents. He pauses <laughs> and says, "It's not looking good." To be, to be blunt. You see, while we did not find the actual remains of, of the serpents, we have found plenty of their flesh missing, as if apart from their body. From what we can tell, they've been butchered. <laughs> oh, jeez. Is he talking about the snakes? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you found parts of the snakes. And not yes. just shredded skin. Yeah. If These it was... Are, like, magical snakes, and they, they can, like, regrow their bodies. Well, we would definitely know if it was shredded skin. Yeah, there would not be... It would not be dripping with blood. And as he and as he says that, the deep gnome walks into what appears to be a small 
a small room in the far corner, and then hold uh, and it approaches you with a platter, but in a form of that's not meant for dinner, more as in to present something, and and he just to what the deep gnome told you, and you see bits and pieces of chunks of flesh that are sky that, that seem to be various shades of blue from hey. sky blue to midnight blue. Um, Cadenza and Rorik are gonna do nature checks on this. Okay, go I've ahead. Got a I've got a quick question. Yes, if you've already found bits of these snakes. Why does the Agricultural Guild not know? We've just received word about this this morning. That's Cadenza's. Alright, that's Cadenza's. Then the Warden's Elm doesn't have that's any works. form of quick okay. communication between the Agricultural Guild and itself. Alright, so... Let me quickly answer uh, the uh, uh, roles. So for so for Rorik, he he pauses and looks and says, "These are definitely rept uh, reptilian." And you and what you notice is that while it is certainly would have belonged to to a serpent, as you can tell by like the patterns, but you can tell from its size that this this was probably probably considered like a small to a decent. Like somewhere between a small to a medium chunk of flesh that and as you look you notice that there that there is while there's still a little bit of blood you also notice that there's the uh, the jagged edges which shows that they might have that someone might have ch been chopping at it and hacking at the flesh and that and to you neil he says we haven't been able to have contact with the with with the agricultural deal we've tried but as you probably have noticed from the current state of the helm we've been we've been in complete disarray of... i've noticed i that's the blunt way of putting it we've your only way of putting it <laughs> okay wait the blunt is the best in my opinion but, so there were jagged edges on the snake. On the on the flesh as presented. On the flesh of the snake. Uh, yes. da, 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 da. Can I do investigation checks to see if I could figure out what it is? You may. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, I'm not. That's Cadenza's. <laughs> and yeah, Cadenza's what rolls for works. Uh, da, da, da. I said investigation, right? Yep. yep. No, no, not. Oh. No, ignore that one. It didn't change the thing yet because my okay. keyboard's working. No worries. There we go. Can... Okay. So. That's that one. Yeah. So, from what you could tell, Cadenza, it's definitely. It's definitely not anything that would have been caused by. by normal weapons. You can tell that, uh, well, yes, there are jagged edges uh, in it, in the flesh. You also notice that seems to be, like, plenty of some form of burn mark <laughs> along the edge of where the flesh has been cut. And Cadenza looks up at everyone as she continues to examine the marks and looks over at Rorik for a second. Should I tell him? Might as well. Might as well. There's. This was not a normal weapon. There's burn marks on these. <laughs> on these jagged edges where the snake was hurt. I swear it wasn't me, guys. I swear. <laughs> Alright? <laughs> we don't you Mark. kill a giant snake. I don't know. It says. Uh, it speaks up to another saying. We. There are plenty of things that you would have done, but I don't think this would be one of them. I mean, I've killed a lot of things, but it's just... I've ne I think I would remember killing a snake. 
I think you're safe from this one. I don't think you killed them before you got here. Well, yeah. there was the detail of those night of the swords being stolen. <laughs> what if it happened during that time? They were Ooh. gone. They were stolen for about twelve hours maximum. You think someone could get from the city, find one of those snakes, and kill it, and bring it back in those times? <laughs> You'd never know. I'm not very fast, by the well, way. If, so. if someone can do that, then we're dealing with someone who's far out of our league. <laughs> yeah, um, guys, with I the Goliath here. I was league, so, I mean, you know. Wow, I just put myself under the bus there. I, and at this, the Odos uh, speaks up and says, However, we believe that there is still one serpent alive. What about the Guardian? Have you seen anything on that? We've, we've been trying, but as you probably have heard from one of our, from one of the wardens, we've been dealing with multiple issues on our own. We've not only have the assault, the constant assaults upon the helm, but we also have a dealings with a bee here. How much information do you have on this bee here? Other than the normal, uh, other than the no, uh, just like any other bee here, that would that would take uh, that would be hunting. Not, not nothing that's really substantial. Other than it's, uh, it's really been, it's looked for a particular way out. It's all though I wouldn't be surprised if he's looking for a somewhere up north. Because honestly, while that is where the where we suspect the last the, the remaining serpent to be, we also suspect that is where most of the trouble has been happening. Could that be where the ash skin elves are coming from? It's quite possible. I, I wouldn't put those damn. I wouldn't put it past those damn drow. Good. <laughs> it could all be connected. I mean, didn't the drow did set those carts on fire? Yes, but why would they that want to true. kill snakes right now? I don't know. That's, that's the thing. They're fucking drow. Why do they ever do anything? He has a point. But the drow, they, like you guys said, they don't kill. Well, these seem to do that. They kill if they want to get something out. If these drow were acting like normal drow, they would have put a few of us to sleep that night. That is true, and they were not. <laughs> and they shot the only... Kedenza first. Didn't have any drow poison on it, which is not normal. <sighs> that is also true. Mm -hmm. Not to mention. These drow are thinking. And a thinking drow scares me more than a normal drow. Considering the fact that, for us, they haven't taken any us, any of us as slaves, that makes Should it even more troubling. <laughs> Cadenza shudder so tries to hide a slight shudder at the thought of a drow scaring Neo. She thought he wasn't afraid of anything. Well. So, uh, I, yeah, go ahead. I wanted to ask. The, I wanted to ask. Do you know anything about the drow? Like any places that they usually tend to congregate in, or if there's any place they like to pass by uh, Norm constantly. Normally, they don't even bother com coming inward to the forest. They usually the the most activity we usually see from them is along the edge. Along the border of of the uh, forest, where 
it's usually easier for them to to get what they want, whether it's possibly slaves or or particular goods. Other than that, this is this is a first that we've seen. Not only the drought com coming in you know, coming into the center of this of this province, but also this is the first time we've ever seen werewolves and werejackals working together. The were tribes normally go against each other, don't they? He he slowly nods. Yes. But that that is where I'm wondering if there's something greater at work here. Something that we're not that that we can't even comprehend right now. Do I worry about this? Huh. I'm thinking we might need to try to get a prisoner from those drow to see if they know anything. Any prisoner would... Go ahead, sorry. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. I was just going to roleplay. Yeah. Yeah. And, frankly, any prisoner from either the were tribes or this, or from the drow, would be useful. <laughs> Every time we try to capture one, <laughs> they... The, they seem to be willing to take their own lives. Hmm. The drow were easier to talk to. They did not yeah. like the morning glory. When when you mention this, he pop he turns and looks at you with a with a raised eyebrow. Obviously, this is not it's information that he's to come across before. What did you say? The morning they were after. They are not fond of the morning glory. We brought some down with us as a job for as medicine, and they attacked the carts on the way down. And with the epidemic going on, I don't know what this could mean. This could, it may be connected did with the drow, but I can't say for certain. There's there is something off about this. Hmm. <coughs> after a br moment of brief silence, he fi he finally speaks up and turns to look at at the deep mount. Snevik, could you do could you prepare some rooms for for them? Proper rooms. They're I would it's probably best for them to spend the night here. And, and as he says that he looks back at the window where the sun is de is pretty much go is pretty much almost out of sight as the as the warm colors begin to begin to disappear from the blanket of of deep blue that covers the sky. Very well. Yeah, he speaks for the first time and looks to each and every one of you. Well, if you like, I'll show you to your rooms now. Probably best for you all to get some rest if you're gonna uh, be searching for that serpent. <laughs> My thanks for your hospitality. Sure. I suppose. And as, so, and with that, you all slowly begin to enter out of the room. And he shows you to each of your rooms, which each contain either, you know, just either a single bed or, or two, bed, or two beds in a room. So, it it looks like from what you can tell in some of them that, that these were that these rooms were once in use, but judging from how neat, the neatly prepared it is, it hasn't been, it, the, the former occupants haven't been there for the longest time. 
You can't imagine them getting guests very often. <clears throat> I would suppose not. So, so, what would you guys like to do before before going to sleep? No, I'm good. I'm just gonna go to sleep. Yeah, it's time to go to sleep. Sleep. I'm All gonna right. check out the box. Oh, okay. You mean the one that you picked up before? Yeah. Okay, so are you opening this in your room? Yes. Okay, so as you sit down on your upon your bed and you look at the box, you slowly open it and find a small package of sorts that seems to be wrapped up in bounded leather. It's small enough that it fits in your hand. And it seems to be held together by a string that's tied in a simple knot. Open or not? That is the question. Ah, screw it, I'll open it. And as you open it, you notice that there seems to be a small a small stack that seems to be made out of ivory. And it seems to be a deck of cards of tarot design. Oh, 13 no. in total. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh god. Not this early. Not this early. <laughs> oh boy. Well, it's been a good campaign, guys. That's fine. <laughs> oh, I, I don't. Wait, wait. I don't get it. What just happened? Let's kiss never don't goodbye. Don't, 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 don't say anything. So. <laughs> Somebody's gonna have to roll a new character soon. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So, so now that you discovered this, what would you like to do with this? I don't know, draw 11. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to examine the cards. Okay, so you examine the cards, and you notice that it seems to be of, uh, of a rich, complex gold and blue uh, design on the back. It, it's... It seems that whoever made this has clear has clearly put some artistic work into this. In fact, it would remind you of some of the playing cards that you would see among the upper class in Athenia. Oh. So, so, it's okay. They're good playing cards. What are these? These are weird. Oh. You know, I could really go for a game of solitaire. <laughs> All right. With tarot cards. Oh no, dear. Wait. No. I don't. I don't know. What kind of cards are these? All right. These these are too big to be playing cards. Wait. Right. Wait. Are they like in a box, or is it just like? Are separate. Um, the cards are together in a, in a stack, but it was it was kept together by the by a le by some by some piece of leather and and bound together with uh, with with a simple uh, string and knot. And the and the you still have the box that was in it, but it's a very it's small one. In fact, it it, ser it seems to serve the purpose of just holding these cards. Huh. All right, I got cards. I'm talking to myself. Oh god, I'm so lonely. If only I was back at the farm age. <laughs> oh god, I'm so lonely. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, just put these back for now. And they're interesting. Oh, I don't know. Should I show? Should I show these to the others? No, because I stole these. You're gonna think I'm a thief. Wait, I am a thief. <laughs> You're gonna think <laughs> they don't know I'm a thief. Oh, crap. All right. Uh, I'll just. I know. I'll just say that I found them on the floor. That's genius, Nether. That's genius. Out of character. Right. Don't worry, guys. He's not that kind of thief. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think I figured it out what it is. Uh. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna put the cards back, close the box, and... Go to sleep. And if I'm going... No, I'm gonna... Put these... I'm gonna put the box just in my pocket. So wait, so you're putting the box or the uh, or the or the deck of cards? I'm putting the deck of cards back in the box and I'm putting the box in my pocket. All right. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. It would only be worse if Rory had it. <laughs> <laughs> or right. mistaken. <laughs> yeah, I think it would be worse if Mistaken had it. Oh, oh God. No. I, I honestly did not ex expect, uh... She just slapped that in the fucking... <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Alright. Well, I, I found cards. Alright. Oh, yeah, you have. <laughs> <laughs> you found your uh, own doom. Anyway, I'm gonna <laughs> stop talking now. <laughs> I'm just gonna lay down on the bed, um, pull out my dragon tooth dagger, all right. stare at it. Okay. So, as you all begin to slowly drift off into sleep, you all finally feel this sense of relaxation that Unlike before, where you were on the road, it was not, you don't have, well, you may not have, like, the fresh air around you. You do feel a bit more at ease as you are resting on these nicely made beds. Is there a window in my room? <laughs> yes. What's out the window? You want to look out is it, the window? Yeah, like, is it just a straight drop, or is there a roof? I'll make a perception check. Oh, fuck, I can't see, like, two feet in front of my face. Nope. Not night. Well, wow. aren't I in the same- wait, wait, I'm in the same room as you are, aren't I? Nope, because oh. Neo wants to sleep by himself tonight. Oh. <laughs> We're all I don't see night. shit. Yep, so all, from what you can tell, you just only see the, the, dar the darkness, but also the- but you also see a little bit of an outline of the, uh, of the forest. But it's dark. Yeah, I can dark. see the forest, but I can't see well, the I'll roof see... if there is one. Well, do you mean the roof of the, uh... No, I mean, like, uh, is there a roof under the, um, window? Uh, I, I would say with your, with your passive, I would say yes. Okay, how far you, out you does do... the roof go? Um, it doesn't really seem to, to go out too far. Just maybe, like, a f just, like, a few feet. Is it like slanted or is it flat? Well, the well, the where it it's on uh, like the the fortress itself. It's like where it's on top of it's slanted, but as it goes up towards the walls and the and the building itself, it starts going straight. Like flat, straight. Yeah, yeah, like so flat, flat and then straight and then slanted. Is there enough? Oh well, I'm actually pretty fucking big. I was gonna say, is there enough room for me to like climb out the window and just sit on the roof? Well, I'll go ahead and give you a dexterity check. Nope. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright. Never mind. Right. I'm just gonna hang <laughs> out the window and have- I'm just gonna hang out of the window for a while and then go to sleep. Alright. Knowing Rorik, Rorik would do a perception check to see what the hell is going on. Okay, so go ahead and go for perception on his end. And I'll just and I'll play his does end. He, does he get advantage because he has, um... Oh, look at those twos. Mm-mm. Because he has dark vision. Um, I I would say go ahead, just for because especially for what I have in mind. Okay, nope. so so as um so before going to bed, Rorik steps outside of the inner keep and look, takes a look at the surroundings. He notices something rather unusual sight. He note uh, there's no lighting. There's no candle, none of, uh, uh, or any form of sort of light that you would normally find along uh, along the walls, 
Nothing. It's just... On the outside. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's the same in general, from what he can tell. That... And he... Oh, and as he walks... And as he looks around, he notices, as one of the... These wardens walk by, that they're a bit more awake, but their eyes are an unnaturally colored <laughs> orange. One that's similar to that of a, of a campfire. Ew. What? That's weird. And as You're he in a cape full of witches. <laughs> he slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to, to Cam Morhen, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Believe it or not, I, I don't know that much about the, the Witcher, so. Hell, I do. I do. <laughs> well, that shows where I'm from. <laughs> Anyways, so he notices this. Um, that it's, this is all. All of these humans seem to have the same colored eyes. In that way, he, he's sort of tripped out by this before. He decides slowly to, to go to his room and meditate, which, which I was told that's what he always does. <laughs> so, okay. Now, let me go ahead. And as, and as you all slowly begin to fall asleep, you hear something. And that instantly wakes you up. Oh, Cody. oh no! Okay. Here we go. It's wait, wait, hold on. Is... Ignited. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. You you are suddenly waking up by, by a rain. series by a series of explosions that seem to rock the the very floor that uh, from the from the bed you're on. And shaken as if similar to an earthquake, it wakes you all up. Oh. <laughs> all right, Cadenza's gonna hop up and do a perception check. Is this supposed to be music playing? No, it's not music. Oh, what the fuck is that then? You'll yeah. see. Go ahead and roll. <laughs> go ahead and roll for, for perception. perception, Cadenza. Eighteen. All right. As you hear this. You hear the, you hear shouts of the and pan, the panic, the filling out the inner sanctum as everyone's just shouting various things. Some of them shouting, "Get out! Get out!" Others are shouting, "To the walls! To the walls!" And as you're hearing this, there's a brief moment of silence from this supposed a series of explosions, and you, you hear. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, can I do this too? Or do a perception yep. check? Feel free. Wait, what yeah. do we hear? Yeah. A wolf. You fucking werewolves, bro. Oh, uh, I didn't hear that part. Um, Rourke's also doing the yeah, perception. Right. Mistaken. I'm also. not. I'm fucking grabbing my axe, booting the fucking door open, and going downstairs. Let's get All it. All right, so as you hear this, you hear the sounds of. This is for mistaken. Yeah. You all. You all keep hearing these series of howls and and growls and snarls. I'm making my and, way to the walls. Yeah, and as you are, you just hear suddenly the ring of the bell. Dong, dong, dong. And as you all make your way out, you hear something in the distance. You hear the clashing yells and screams and the clashing of metal. And as you look out from the keep, you notice great fires peering all over the courtyard. One of which seems to have hit one of the, the barracks, as it seems to... Whatever this flame is, seems to be consuming the, the very stone itself. And as you are looking at this, you just see there's to be two groups just, like, clashing along various parts of the keep. And you take note that something of a sickly green color begins to appear in your guys' vision. I would like you all to make a perception check. Mm. 17. Miss. Right. <laughs> well, Miss, that's a good job for you. All right. 
So, so what you all take notice is this sickly green. What are we rolling for? I can't. Perception. Perception. Is our battle mat supposed to be up yet, or are we still looking at this? Well, still don't worry, there. we're going to. I'm going to pull it up in a moment. All right. Yay. Yeah. Changes. So, yes, we're finally changing it. But as you, and as you all take notice of this, those who have rolled high, which would be Cadenza, Sid, mistaken, not Dio. me. Okay. Oh, Look at that, twenty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so. So everyone who rolled. 18 or higher. Actually, no, 17 or higher. 16 or higher. You all notice that the sickly huge sphere is emerging before you. And it's flying You can, uh, towards the keep. And at this, you, you uh, mistaken says, what is that spell? And as it goes flying, you notice it seems see, why is it <laughs> I don't know. I'm still having connection issues, and I don't yeah. know why. The great, the, the great sphere goes flying towards, towards the keep where you are all at, but, but it, it hits straight off to the side, as you heard the explosion. As the part of the keep seems to be fly, uh, the the wall just flies off. Hmm. And at, and at this form of magic, you notice that Staken is clearly troubled by this. And as he looks around, he says, that came, that came from the north of here. And at this, you also notice that Little Flame and Aradira and her husband start to uh, start to approach you all. Oh, yay, What's they're alive. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and and at and at this moment, Little Flame's like, "What is going on?" You expect us to know? Oh, jeez, I have no clue. Asking dumb questions, Kitty Cat. <laughs> I need to go and beat something up. Sounds like Bert. an attack. Yeah, Bird all looks at you and says. Well, at least we're both on the same page. And he rushes down, rushes down the stairs. And you notice Aragira seems to be conflicted. I'm following Aragorn. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you're Cadenza all... and Burke are also grabbing their stuff and following. All right. And as you all are running, Ferdal gives and starts shouting to you all. That's whatever that magic was. This can't. It, it was from the front. It seemed to be from the front gate. And as as he says this, you just hear a shout. The outer wall has been breached! Oof. The outer wall has been breached! Oh, goody. And at, and, and at this, Ferdinand says, Well, guess, guess I know what I need you you all to do. I want you all to... Play to him. Yeah. I would like you all to go... If you can, please go and, and reclaim the gate. We... I, and without uh, uttering another word, he just bolts off with with a with a crowd of of other wardens with with him. But you also notice for those who have a passive perception of twelve Ooh, or higher. Say, nope. Nope. Yeah. A you, passive wait. perception. Yep. Yeah. Where nope. The, uh, uh, no. Probably Rourke. Mistake yeah. does. Yeah, Mitwork does. All right, so Mitwork and Mistaken, they, they, they gesture to you all and just, they realize, they say, wait. It's only the, it's only the wardens that are out. And you notice that anyone who was from that, uh, the normal soldiers from the province seems to be either gone or that they fled, or that you just hear the screams of panic. And as you all start making your way down. I'm going to go and switch the map, and I'm going to tell you how this is going to work for the Battle of the Helm. Oh boy, there's yeah. mechanics. Yes. Yeah. So, the way this is going to work is, your main objective is to get to the gate. But, 
you also have an influence on the battle by how many of the enemy you slay. Oh, and great. also how much of the like if and you I I'll ask you uh, I'll mention this every now and then so you got to pick up on it that there will be instances where you uh, there's situations going on throughout the battlefield that you that you have a choice to oh, to respond yeah. to. Okay. Choice based. So, yeah. So as you all playing Dragon Age. <laughs> so, after, and what I want you to do for now. Let's hope it's an older all, one. I want you all to start by rolling initiative. Okay. And what's going to happen is at the at the end of your guys' rounds, as well as the Roll creatures, again. you will I will ask oh, one person okay. to roll a d20, and depending on what has happened in the battle field, you will all have modifiers, and we will roll. And this will be mistaken you, right here. Yeah. And if you <laughs> roll higher, and if you roll higher than it, <laughs> you will. You will have uh, there will be an influence. You guys will have a major influence on the battle for the defenders. If I roll higher, there's an influence on the attack on the attackers. All right, boys. Classic DM versus the players. Oh, yeah. me and Neo got the same number. So as you all are are both. Is Cadenza in... going first? No. So, so as you all are ru are rushing, you no, you notice is. two things off the bat. Really? You hear, you hear someone shout? Yeah. yeah. That's Rorik who got the net one. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, as you all are are book, you know, booking it through through the courtyard and joining up with some of the some of the wardens, you hear shouts. One of which you pick up, sh shouting, "They are! They captured the bastion!" Ah! And as he shouts, you just hear a. <laughs> as you take note of a ballista bolt. Oh, good. In the ground. Oh, they've got siege weapons. Yeah, that's fun. And and the, when as as this happens, you also hear someone shouting, "We lost the armory! We claimed the armory!" Oh, they're losing everything. Can they do nothing right? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pathetic. Let's go. Which so which way that? are you guys going? Are you got so you have three options? You can you can choose to go to the turret, the armory, or you can just bolted for the gate. I think we should shut down that ballista. I agree yeah, about the ballista. Yeah, the ballista is probably the most dangerous here. Alright. So as you all are rushing, you notice, you, you take note that the ballista, that the shot that where it came from was on top of one of the bastions. And at, you, as you rush into the entrance, you quickly find yourself at entrance across uh, up the staircase are you all are you all going to be just normal pace or are you going to enter cautiously uh, stealthily i should say i don't have caution okay yeah, probably normally all right yeah, normal. okay Rorik's probably entering stealthily like yeah Rorik is uh i'll roll for him for his stealth. Oh, that's, that's, that's maconi oh yeah maconi i forgot i'm the other one I got the other one. We're gonna again. I'm gonna Drop disconnect. I'm gonna connect. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. I... That's how you guys go. <laughs> All right. Good. Can you hear me now? Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Okay. And you dropped. Nope. Yep. All right. So. So in record. No dropping. Okay. okay. So. As you all enter the this bastion, you begin to hear hear the noises. I'm sorry, and we hear what? You start hearing a series of what considered to be animal like noises. And as you all enter Before we continue, I would like you all to position yourselves. Oh shit. Okay. How would you all so I hope that background becomes more HD in time. There we go. Yes, it will. It will. <laughs> oh. Um. Well, I think it goes without saying that I'm up front. Yeah. Okay. Um... Are you able to move yourself? Nope. Nope. Okay. Here, let me fix that real quick. Give us the power. I give you the power. Okay, you got the power. Do you know the way? I think. I think no. it should also be said that Kadenza should back the fuck up. 
<laughs> I just placed them on there. Where the fuck am I? I'm having issues. You gotta zoom out. Let's see, Rorik, there we go. And for this, I'll say... What, what the fuck? I'm having major issues. Why am I all the way over there? I just placed them down. I was asking you guys to move your token in this in the highlighted box. Set up marching order, nerds. Yep. And You're at the front of the pack, by the way, McConey. So go <laughs> Why ahead. Am I at the front. You can move it wherever that light is. You can you can place your oh, character there. There, that'll, that'll be the. Okay. No, uh, it won't let me move work, so you'll have to move his. Oh, oops! I know what I did. I know what I did wrong. Here. Okay, you should be able to now. <laughs> Alright. Sneaky boy. The sneaky boy. Yeah. Alright. And as you all enter, you find yourself in the presence of a half a dozen werejackals. Oh, fuck oh, me. Oh, no. <laughs> and you see each of them holding what appears to be the weapons meant for close combat. What? Each of them holding a crooked like blade and each having. What appears to be a crudely made she uh, wooden shield. And they turn and look at you. I got ah, So So let me go ahead. Um let me write it down. Who what's the turn order? Let's see. Cadenza. Well Cadenza's first. Okay. Then uh Nether. Okay, so Cadenza. Nether. Me or Neo. Okay. Uh, we just say both go, so don't worry about about that. Okay. So then, uh, <laughs> then mistaken. Okay. And then, then Rorik. Okay. And since he rolled a nat one, he'll go after the jackal. Yeah, Ooh. he's he's Oops. he's dead last. <laughs> it wasn't right. on purpose. I'm having issues. Oh, don't. It's not your fault. That is no, just like I'm having issues with everything on my desktop right now. I know. Alright, so. Cadenza, what would you like to do? <laughs> Actually. No, that's works. That's not what I want. Hold on. I want to use. A magic initiate of a thunderclap. All right. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Is does it choose the point of center, or are you the point of center of the thunderclap? I'm the point of center. Okay, so you may want to create wanna... a burst of thunderous sound. Yeah, I'm gonna move. Okay. You create right. a burst of thunderous sound that can be heard up to 100 feet of range. Each creature within range, other than you, must succeed on a Constitution saving throw or take 1d6 thunder damage. All right. So go so ahead. So if I move over here. You know, that includes us, right? Um... Does it include you guys, too? Yep. Yeah, it includes, it includes everyone. And, um... <laughs> I'd be the only one... I'd have the best chance of not getting hit by it because of my con save. Uh, I've got then a... instead of doing that yeah. one... Sorry. Well, I'm changing save. my mind. I'm changing my mind. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, ba 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 ba. Creature you can see within range. My vision is sixty. Yep. Yeah. Cool. This guy. Uh. uh he's beyond a wall. I yeah, believe that's, that's a wall, wall right yeah. there. You'll, you'll you'll have to yeah you'll have to. Uh, She's move over. moving to here. Oh, okay. Go ahead. And. And she's going to vicious mockery. All right. So do I need to only means to roll anything? What? Do I need to uh, do I need to roll anything in particular for that? Succeed on a Wisdom saving throw or take one d four damage and have disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes before the end of its turn. All right. Does it say uh, what it needs to pass? DC something or no? Uh, yeah, it, should be a DC. it doesn't say. Spell save DC. So. Time to refer to the player's uh, handbook. I'll, I'll say, um, if it doesn't say, it, I'll... It doesn't say. Okay. It, I know oh, it does oh attack save, wisdom 14. 
There All you right, go. 14. Yeah. Let's go ahead. 14 exactly. Oh, he's oh. succeeded. Yeah. Yep. Be brutal. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, and that costs an action, correct? Yeah. Okay. So, you still have your bonus action. What would you like? I'm going to do it again. Can, can you do it twice? Can you do Vicious Mock here as a bonus action? It's a cantrip. Yeah, I know, it but... Doesn't, it has an action. It, does, it just says it's an action. It doesn't limit it so, to what type. It, it, there, there's a difference between a bonus action and an action. You can't use an action spell as a bonus action. Yeah, yeah. but... Yeah, the Unless you have the quicken act. spell. Yeah. Exactly. And you can't use the Unless same you one have twice. what? The quicken. Wait, unless you have... Quicken oh, meta no, magic. I don't have that. Yeah, um, yeah I know, because you're not a sorcerer. Okay, um... Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm gonna do a... Hold on. You still I'm have over. more movement. I don't want to move. Oh, I can cast another cantrip. Can I cast another cantrip, or is if that it, still right? If it has a bonus if it, action. If it yeah, says if it has bonus, bonus action. action. Okay. Nope. Yeah, so right now you have your bonus action and the remaining movement and your free action, which is yeah. like talking and whatnot. <laughs> no, I'm going to stay. All right. Okay, now with that... Nether, your turn. All right. Uh, let's see here. How far away? I sh should. Should. Forty-five. All right. Just remember, guys, Harold asked us to plan out our actions before we do them. I know. I was kind of. I wasn't uh, sure if the, the difference is... wasn't different on the types of actions, yeah. so that was my fault. Yeah. The clock is ticking, other. Okay. Uh, longbow. I'm gonna shoot this boy right All here. Alright. Go ahead. Uh, shoot longbow. Nether, rest the longbow on Neovoy's shoulder. Thank <laughs> 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 oh, boy. Hey. And that hits. Alright, so they got shitty AC. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Alright. You didn't even you didn't even plus your attack bonus to it, or do you not have an attack bonus for your longbow? I All do. Right. Oh, max damage. Okay. I'm gonna have to restart my computer after this. All right. So, as you draw your arrow, another and fire it, it lands right into the shoulder of of the of the creature. But it seems that. While it did hurt him, it didn't feel the full impact. Oh boy. He growls menacingly. They got resistance to piercing. Yes. Good to know. Uh, okay. Alright. From what you can tell, you know that they have resistance to piercing. Well. Alright. Uh, uh, I'm going to use Produce Flame. Alright, are you going to move first? Uh, so you don't cook your friend? You Can know what, yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> yeah. You know, Never no like fire. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Fire mm hot. -hmm. Fire hot. Oh. Alright, go ahead. Uh, oh! Yeah, that definitely hits. Mm. Oh, that's just one. Alright. Nice. Yep. So, four fire damage. Alright. Alright. And as you 
at, after firing your your arrow, you quickly dash to the side and then release the jet of flame at the same creature as he feels the pain much more so than compared to when you, know, when you fired your arrow. Because ah! as he tries to put out the fire that's on that's all over his fur. Gurg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now. Cool. So who has a, uh, what's your dex, uh, Sid and Neo? Thirteen. My dex is thirteen as well. <laughs> okay, so I'll just go ahead and say, um, we'll just go by alphabet. So Sid, go ahead, you and are. then Neo, you go ahead. All right. Okay. It's just to keep keep it in. It's just so to good. keep it in order. I'm gonna <laughs> uh, I'm gonna move right behind Neo, and I'm going to use a second level spell slot to cast. Chaos Bolt at the same one uh, Nether shot at. Okay, go ahead and first roll for wild magic. Okay, that's a d20. Oh, please no. <laughs> Seven. Okay. All right, you're good. Jesus. So you go. So go ahead and, and roll then. Okay. There so was ever a time that you were going to get that fireball? It's going to be right now, and we were all clumped up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I hope not. Twenty-one. Ooh. Oh, that definitely hits. <laughs> and that is 2d8 plus 2d6. Alright, go ahead. Nice. Let me That's try to... Oh, Ooh, <laughs> wait, wait oh, sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, can we not count those? Well, well. Oops. I thought that... You can count the 7 No, 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 no. no, no it's alright. Sorry, all right. I, I didn't know. I thought that would click to put the... This, okay, so two, right. two, 2d8 plus 2d6. Yeah, I'll count the first 2d8. Okay. I'm not going to be a stick with that way. <laughs> oh, okay, so damage. seven and eight. Yeah. Okay, what oh, type of damage is that? Of what damage is that, then? Which damage is it? Seven or eight, so it's either psychic or thunder. I'll take psychic. <laughs> All right, so as you fire off your arcane magic right at the same creature, as he's definitely trying to put it out, <laughs> he seems to almost freeze for a moment before his body starts shaking violently from the sidekick damage and falls dead. <laughs> so that's a total of oh my 23 god. damage. Oh my god, I got double fours! That's a lot of damage. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Yep, seven right, and eight, well, then yeah. double four. That's why we keep the sorcerer around. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Go ahead. Yep, the right, go. Um, so I'm going to use my movement, all of my movement, mm -hmm. to run up to this absolute complete nut a nerd. Okay. Get up. And I'm going to take my axe, both hands, turn it to the flat side of the blade, and clank this bitch on the head. Okay, so you're going for a knockout. So go ahead and roll for normal. Uh, so that's 1d20 plus 8 to hit. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. That hits. Hey. Yep, and that's... Oh fuck, also raging. <laughs> <laughs> I can use my bonus to rage after I do this damage. I can't use it just yet. That's my bad. Okay. That's alright. It's alright. So 1d10 plus 6. Yep. Not plus 8 because I didn't rage because I'm an idiot. Hey, even then you would have you would have paid him. And there's 13 damage. So as you... <laughs> Charge in towards this jack, this jackal, who seems a, uh, surprised for a moment at how cooked his friend, his or comrade has become, before turning to look at you and focus on your own brain, puppy. <laughs> and you, you hear a, a whack and a ring as he is falls unconscious. All right, and once he hits the ground, I'm just gonna turn to the rest of him and just go. And go into a rage. All right. Okay. Okay. Now with that, mistaken. Oh. So go ahead and take okay. care of that. Let's see here, mistaken. He's going to. Uh, he's just going to go right here behind uh, Cadenza. Wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait. Oh boy, this is bad. Actually, um. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to actually get closer and uh, let's see from where he was originally at sorry this is uh no, it's all right don't think he can actually reach anybody on this turn maybe that person right there 
Yeah. You can hold an action if you like. No, I, I think I got it here. He's going to have to get right there. All right. That should get him within 15 feet of that guy. That definitely got him there, yeah. Yep. Okay, he's going to cast Burning Hands at level 2. All right. Go that's, ahead and roll for that. That's a deck save. Deck save? Okay, then. Yep. What, what does he need? A 14. He fails. Oh, that's 4d6. 4d6, go ahead. Okay. That's a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. 14. All right. Just take in. Have okay. taking note of of what you of of what was done by both Nether, Nether and Sid. Quickly ignites his hands before rushing up and just starts releasing jets of flame as well. Just starting to burn the jet, no, this jackal as he starts rising in pain and trying to desperately block with the shield. He's still getting cooked, and he's looking in pretty bad shape. Now, it's their turn. No oh, good. <laughs> All right. So, seeing seeing what has transpired, the jack this jackal moves straight after <laughs> after mistaken, push uh, trying to push the flame with the shield as he moves closer. This one. Let's see. Yep, he can reach. Goes right after Nether. No, oh, jeez. Well, these two have wise seem to look to each other for a moment before both of them start rushing towards Neo. Good. All right. <laughs> now, first, the dam rolling for the attack against Mistaken. What's it? All right. Nope, that fails. And what, really? <laughs> yeah, he failed. Oh my god, that's lucky. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> now, now the other two, so the first, actually I'm going to go ahead and roll for the one attacking another. <laughs> nope, fails too. Oh god. <laughs> Wait, I don't know his port and rows from last time, or does he still have port and rows? Should I roll for that for him? Uh, should have done that at the beginning. Yeah, should have done yeah. that. All right. So now the other two. However, they both get advantage on their attacks for being with the for being what? close to each other. Oh yeah, because oh, there's they're two. They're flanking. Yeah. Fuck. Flanking. Good. First one. That is a total of 19. Yeah, it hits. That hits. All right. Now. Anything over anything at a 14 and over hits me. And you take. Seven points of slashing damage. Have you, is that halved From, already? Hmm? Have you halved that already? No, I'm just saying that's original, so we have half okay. that, so that would be four if I'm correct. Four total? From both of them? From one. This is the other okay. one. That, he, he still gets advantage, thankfully, but nope, still not enough. Oh, so you, you only suck! Take, he only takes four points of slashing damage. Pathetic. <laughs> and it's at this moment they both seem to have a deep. They realize what exactly they're facing against. <laughs> My mother cuts deeper than you, and she's dead. All right. Get down. This is a bit turn. turned on. <laughs> oh. Rorik's turn. Oh my God. Rorik. Yeah, Rorik's gonna shoot his arbalest, of course. All right. All right. No, um, please don't hit me. Can hit on. <laughs> hit you? <laughs> well, if he gets a, if he gets a natural one, then it, then he has a chance it's of hitting hit somebody. It's gonna hit somebody. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going for. That's not working. Uh, Joshi, this one. That was alive, right? Okay. Yep, that one's alive. Yep. Okay. So I'm rolling, also, what, 1d20 plus what? Plus 5. Plus 5. I'm also, like, be, I can't... Be careful. Also, Sorry, what? Well, I'm just going to say, for future reference as well, if you hold down the... If you hold down your mouse... Your left mouse button, you can create a circle yeah. to highlight. 
Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. no, I've been having, like, major connection issues, so... Okay, yeah. no worries. So go ahead. Twelve. Twelve. Barely hits. Ooh, they have garbage AC, holy shit. One <laughs> D ten plus five is the damage? Yep. Jesus, right. why are my rolls going automatically? Twelve. Alright. So, as you release, now as Warwick uh, carefully aims and fi fires his R-Blast, goes flying over her <laughs> shoulder. Goes mm -hmm. right into the ribcage of one, and he quickly he grasps his 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 side as he is as he staggers. <laughs> that really screwed him up. All right. So with all those ending, let's go ahead and I would like um let's go ahead and have Neo. I would like you to roll okay. a d twenty. All right. With no modifier? Well, plus two modifier. Okay, plus two. Is it that a 17? Yep, and... Yep, roll the five. So, that so that particular round, you guys give the upper oh, hand yeah. to the defenders. And as, yes. as you guys are fi uh, continue fighting around it, you hear... You start hearing a bit more... Of the encouragement, encouraging yells from from the defenders as you, as you can't see them, you get a feeling that they're starting to push back. Hell yeah! <laughs> All right, <laughs> morale points. Yes. So now, Cadenza, go there ahead go. and start your turn. Cool. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right. Spells weren't working that well, even if they were cantrips. So. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, what's the reach from here? I gotta to... take a mental note for mistakens. Know what he's. I'm throwing up. a dagger. All right, go ahead. Add so that's one d twenty plus five. Same one as before. I didn't. I didn't throw a dagger yet. That was a spell. No, that was a cantrip. No, 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 I mean the same. No, I'm the saying same... the one you targeted. The high, the highlighted one. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. That hit. Fifteen. Cool. Ah, one d four plus. All right. I almost had it ricochet already. Six. As as you want, as you notice that they seem to be trying to gain up on Neo, you take careful aim your dagger and toss it, and as you do so, it meets its it it meets its target. <laughs> right into the right eye of the jackal before mm. clasping, uh, falling down to the ground lifeless. Did Cadenza just do that? Yes. Yep. Yes. Damn. <laughs> yep. Cadenza's mm. <laughs> <laughs> good at throwing daggers. Like what can I say? Next turn. Oh, boy. There you go, Nether. All right. Now, Nether, your turn. Alright, uh... I am... You're, you're locked in combat with that dude. Yeah. And my swords... Wait, no, the swords aren't cheap right now. Well... Well, you could yeah. draw them. You could draw them, and I, they, I, you could do that. Oh, and then... And then attack them. What, what's a save for that? <laughs> Hold yeah, on. Yeah, what is a save for that? <laughs> Well, first you, you got gotta the decide if you're going to draw them or not. <laughs> Wait, what? He's about he to draw a draw sword. No. Oh, no. Around all of us? Okay, at least it's just the swords. I thought he was drawing a card. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, I don't know what the cards do. You don't well, want Nether to. Doesn't either. <laughs> Nether doesn't want to. I was like, we are nowhere near in a dire enough situation to start popping cards. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, no. The guy, Those are not going to be used anytime soon. I think. Maybe? I don't know. But, uh... Let's see. Let's... I'm sorry, I should have checked 
I thought that they were already drawn. I'm well, sorry. just go. So go ahead and you can just say you draw them. No. Oh, so boy. that. To draw the swords, I mean. All right. I'm sorry, guys. I have to draw the swords. Wait. So. Wait, the magic ones? Yes. The magic ones. You're drawing them when we're nearby? Hey, good luck, guys. <laughs> I'm far enough away. Fuck. I'm sorry, I can't... Wait, no, wait. Look, can I... Hold Just draw the fucking wait. swords, goddammit. You got 30 seconds. Uh, wait, can I move to over here? And still in the... Not yeah, you can it. still you can still do that. You're in yes. combat range with him. Oh good. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah. Now I'll draw this. I one. agree with you, Lasso. <laughs> All right. So as you draw the swords, you know, you notice that that the the jackal seems to growl even more so as he notices the blades. <sighs> but Pulsing he doesn't seem is. to he doesn't seem to. Uh, to move away or try to avoid you. Oh, they're immune to fee. Yep. Yeah. All right. So go ahead and I, you can go ahead and roll for your attack. Uh, wait, did that count as an action? Yeah, no. that, okay. that count. That count. Uh, I I was just saying that count. You could just uh, oh. do that as part of your like bonus action. I would say, unless it okay. says otherwise in the book. What's in the bottle? I, I can't do my dual wielding. No, all right. Well, it's still dual wielding, but I'm only gonna do one. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Gotta roll now. Roll now, or we're going to, or we're going to skip. Gotta roll. Five. Four. Fuck it. Just normal d20, because I don't. All right. Have time. E. Yeah, that was all right. Shit. All right. Seven yeah. plus five. Yep. All right. Yeah. As as you. Swing your blades. Ping! It he bats he bats it away with his shield. Oh why you little Alright. Oh why so, I ought My go. Yes. So now it is Sid's turn. I'm gonna move right here. And I am <laughs> going to Okay, but first he gets an attack of opportunity on you. Yeah, you oh, lost it. Yep. Yeah, you just walk past it. <laughs> yeah. <He's> gonna... <laughs> And what's your armor class? Eleven. Not hard. And nope. He as, as you run <laughs> and he takes a swing at you. You duck before moving right behind another. Oh god. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I am going to do another another chaos bolt, but I'm going to twin it. All right. At so level two. Ahead. So go ahead and roll for the wild badger. Yep. <laughs> okay. Twinning it requires you to spend a sorcerer point, doesn't it? Yep. Yes, it does. Thirteen. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to attack the one that uh, this one. Uh, oh, wait, 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 that one and that yep. one. <laughs> if I can actually uh, do it there. Yeah, I figured. So go ahead and roll. Okay, so that is a plus five to that. Yep. Oof. Okay, fifteen. Is that for one? For one. Now the one next to another seems to take note of you. Hold the shield up as you fire. <laughs> the other one, on the other hand, is not so lucky. Okay. So the one next. So the one next to Neo. That's two d eight. Yep. Chaos bolt, right? Yep. Yep. Where's or, that at? Or it's witch bolt, I think. All right. Three and one. All right. Okay, let's. Three and. Yep. Let me check to see what damage that is. Mhm. Mm Fire damage. All right. And then two d six. Go ahead. <laughs> God, that was okay. terrible rolls. Yikes. You, oh whether it's because whether it's because you try cast, casting with both hands, but you're not sure why, but for some reason it does hit, but it's only, it, it doesn't seem to harm one of them as much. 
So, now, Neo. <laughs> I'm gonna smack the shit out of this one with the blunt, or with the the flat of my blade. Go ahead. As as before, so d two one d twenty plus eight. Mm -hmm. Yep, that definitely good hits. Good night, uh, good night, Johnny. And um, that's a one d ten plus eight damage. Yep. One d ten plus eight. Nighty night. Let's see. Oh, and that. Hold on. So, as just uh, even though he seems to hold his shield up in, in, in an effort to try to prevent any more damage from coming his way from Sid, <laughs> he you raise your your weapon <laughs> flat end above your head, bang, right on top of his head before poof, collapsing to the ground, unconscious. Okay, okay, and now that they're dealt with, I can move. Yes, you can. So, I will be going... ...in the way. Alright. Whee! Oh, no. Woohoo! G'day. Okay, good. Surprise! And this'll be... And, yeah, that's my turn. This'll be Miss's turn, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, this is simple. He's just going to move back over right here, and he's going to use Burning Hands. All right. I think I could hit... I don't think I can hit both of them, can I? No, he's not a sorcerer. He's a wizard. No, I mean Burning Hands is a, is a cone. Oh, yeah, no. It would only hit one of them. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. I was thinking there. Oh, well. Still, I guess when Burning Hands at level two, and that's a deck save. Mm hmm. Go ahead. Deck save, you have to roll for it. Oh, okay. And what does he need? A 14. 10. Nope, he fails. Okay, 46. Go ahead. Old rolling actual dice. It's faster that way. 15. <laughs> All right. Can I roll my actual dice? Don't be worried if I start saying they're all nat 20s. <laughs> <laughs> He's used two uh, slots so far. I don't know where my die are. I Hashtag think they're still packed away somewhere. Hashtag GM privilege. <laughs> so. It's alright, I rolled a nat 20. Yeah. I'm not fucking with <laughs> so you. I used four. I used four. So, <laughs> needless to say, he, he easily just cooks them as, as he starts rolling around in the on the ground before stopping lifelessly. Roasty the... toasty wear, bitch. Yep. <laughs> okay, now the last wear jackal. Surprisingly, and you would notice this, Neo. What am I noticing? You are noticing that this, even though there's still one jackal up, he doesn't seem to be actually wa uh, uh, planning to retreat at all. Oh. You. And you would know from your, uh, from your, from your his, uh, from your background that that's not normal. That ain't normal. All right, now it's another. Ooh, he hits. And you take four points of slashing damage, but he's also going to he went from his. From his blade, but he's also now going to take a fight right at your neck. Ooh. Oh, jeez. And what's your armor class? 13. 15. Oh, fuck. And you take an additional five points of piercing damage. Okay. As he bites and clamps down on your neck. <laughs> ah. Ah. Guys, these things bite. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Okay. All right. I'm fine. I swear. Go ahead. All right. So now, Bark's turn. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. So we've only got this one left. Nope, that's not what I want. Oh, no, there's only one left. Yeah, that one. I was hitting the wrong thing. Let's try for that Arbalesk again. He'd have to reload it. Yeah, yeah, he would have to reload it, so that would cost him an action. Oh, so he's going to take the action to reload it. Alright. Yeah. 
Okay, then. Now we'll go ahead and roll for the round. And because of the moment, because the momentum is on your side. And how many? One, two. Let's see. One, two. So we took the, you took down uh, four this round, correct? Yeah, we mm -hmm. did. <laughs> okay, so so go ahead and add a plus four to your modifier, Sid, and roll a d twenty. Okay. Actually, four. No, actually, you get to roll. Let me check. Yeah. So go ahead and um, yeah, go ahead and yeah, that's actually a plus plus five. Oh. Because of momentum. Can I? Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't think you. Uh, 16. All right. 19. Oh. Darn. Shit. At this, at this moment, you hear that, well, for a moment, it seems to be the momentum outside was on your side, but now you just hear more growls and even some more howling. Oh, it's come. Oh, God. All right, now let's go ahead and continue the werewolves or frat boys. <laughs> <laughs> Cadenza is also making a mental note of seeing that Neo killed any of the werebeasts but knocked them unconscious. All right, she wonders why. Um, she's gonna go and throw another dagger because why the hell not? All right, go ahead. Because apparently I do all of that. Knock on wood. Uh, <laughs> da, 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 da. Eleven. Um, fortunately, not enough. As that you throw not, it, doesn't go through. Nope, it doesn't. Miss. It, yeah, he chuck. You chuck the dagger. He holds up his shield as he continues biting down on on Nether's neck, <laughs> and it's stuck into the shield. Okay, my turn. Yes. Well. Uh, I'm just going to use a level 1 spell slot for my uh, Chaos Bolt. Oh wait, I'm sorry, it's Nether, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, far, sorry, I forgot. I'm sorry, my apologies, Nether. Go Oops. ahead. Yeah. What happened to the list thingy that we had up? Oh, I, I, I just put on my notepad. Yeah. Oh. I found it faster that way. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Dual wheel thingy. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to... Two tools, just attacks. What are you trying right. to figure out, Nether? I'm just gonna do two attacks with. Aren't you grappled though? No, no, no. He's not grappled. It's oh. just flavor. Oh, okay. trying to figure I, out I, would, I, I would mention if it was grappled. Okay. Are sorry. you trying to figure out two weapons fighting? Yeah. Huh? He has are you the trying to figure out two weapons. Two weapons? You, you've got the two weapon fighting thing. Yeah, I can explain that to you. But just. If you took it with your fight, if your fighter thing was taking the two weapon fighting, it means that you can do two weapon fighting. So you can attack with one light weapon, and then you can attack again with one light weapon. If you didn't have yeah. the two weapon fighting thing taken from the fighter thing, then your second attack wouldn't get your modifier. But because you did, you can put your modifier on your second attack. Yep. So you can yeah. go ahead. So you can just chop chop, and that's yep. one attack, one action. Yep. Wait, really? Yeah. Yeah. So you can just mm -hmm. go ahead. That's what. That's the nice thing about two weapon fighting. Oh it's really broken with. God, it's really broken with Horizon Walker Ranger. I love it. Oh my guys, why wasn't I doing this sooner? So you didn't understand <laughs> it. Go ahead, hurry up, let's go. All right, so I I rolled the D twenty twice. Yes. Yep. You roll your attack twice. Yeah, because Anza can do that too, but not when throwing. Oh god. All right, the okay, second one hits. So go ahead and and roll for damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. D six plus three. All right, six damage. This as as he bites down on you and. You start swinging with both your blades. The first one, ting, he blocks with his own with his own blade, but the other one <laughs> finds it down on top of his shoulder. He growls Rah! as he lets go. <laughs> hey, back from the neck. 
All right. Now, said it's your turn. Okay, now it is. Yep, this will be a good time to use a Chaos Bolt at level one. All right, go ahead and roll for Wild Magic. Yep, that's a D20. Okay, so 2d8. All right, go ahead. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> it had to do it then! Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, I just say, I, I, just to save time. He did. He, You literally just just knocked him out. Incinerated him? <laughs> yeah. As, yeah. And as you as you fire your your web, your magic once more, it he takes note. He seems to have this moment of, oh shit. Uh, he takes hey, note. Wait, is is he resistant to poison? No. Okay, good. <laughs> and he just finds the 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 bolt to go right into his face. <laughs> Crap baskets. Completely, complete, completely shattering what was once his head before falling lifeless to the ground. <laughs> uh, so, you cleared out the first, the, uh, the, uh, sec the second level. Alright, I'd like one, to do something before complete. we leave. I'd like to do something before we leave. Yes. I'm gonna go up to these two that I've knocked out. Yeah. Pick them both up by the scruff of the whatever the fuck they're wearing. Take any weapons they've got on them off and chuck them to the side. All right. Like so, all of them, I am searching their body for any weapons. All right, go ahead and roll for investigation with advantage since they're unconscious. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna need it because I don't have a modifier to it. And they don't really seem to have. And from what you can tell, you you don't really see that they have much in like clothing on them. Advantage. Good thing I've got, a, good thing I've got advantage. Yeah, so literally, from what you can tell, these are not professional soldiers. Mm -hmm. And you just literally see all they had on them was like their sword and shield. Okay, good. But, I'm gonna take them, like, grabbing her daggers. Pick them both up. Yeah. And I'm just walking out with them. Alright, are you going Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn to you, all, all of you and go, do you have anything to bound these idiots with? Does anybody have rope? Sorry. Rope? Yeah, hemp and rope. Chain would, rope. Be, chain would be better, but if we've got rope, I can handle that. Okay. I'm sadly don't have any right now. Uh, mine's with uh, precision. Okay. Alright, um, so, so okay. I'm going to take my rope and cut it in two lengths and basically just hog tie these idiots. Alright, so, yep, so we'll say they'll go ahead and tie it. They don't seem yep. to be moving at all. Alright, okay. I'm going to grab them and take them downstairs. Is there a, um, like a, what are they called? The heralds or something? Oh, the wardens? Dungeon. The wardens, I don't even think yeah. the heralds. Is there, so, yeah. is, there, so, is there like some mooks nearby that I can yeah, so get attention as, of? Yeah. So as you so as you notice the battle going on around you, you found you find one who happens to who happens to be readying his arrow, takes note and looks at you, and rushes over. Says, take these two idiots and take them to somewhere secure. Keep your fucking eye on them and do not let them take their own lives. These are the only way we're going to find out why the fuck they're here. <laughs> Don't need to tell me twice. And he rushes off with, with the two of them. Okay, cool. Now I'm going he... back to my party. Yep. And I'm assuming you're all going upstairs now? Yep. 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 Yes. All right. So now let's move everyone. Let's see. Do I? I think I have everyone up. There. Yep. So you can go it. And as you all make your way up Holy you Jesus. notice you notice that there seems to be more of of these jackals but they seem to be manning the the ballista as they are now aiming it at the at the inner keep are they can they see us do they know we're here yeah can we take initiative on this one yeah i want to see if we yeah. can surprise them yeah surprise yeah, go ahead yeah go ahead i'll you can go ahead and i'll say you can go ahead and do just that so, let me quickly. I'm just making sure you all have permissions. I do. Yeah. I have. Okay, there. Good. So. Oh. Now. Cadenza has her daggers back. Yes, you have your daggers back. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, I can do two weapon fighting as well. I just try not to get close enough. <laughs> I'm not really yep. uh, built for that. Okay. No. So 
I'll go ahead and say, um, let me go ahead and roll for their perception. See if they even notice. It's at this moment, they turn and look at you. And, and one of them looks at you, and... And okay. they all stop what they're doing, frozen, and look at you before growling. So stop load, load aiming they, the ballista? Yes, they stop loading and aiming at you, but... For okay. sake of time and everything, we'll keep the turn order as normal. Okay. All right, so let's get in. So, Cadenza, you go first. Cool. Um, the ones that's closest over here, I'm going to use my vicious cantrip again. Go ahead. So that's one D. And I need remember, to. Do I need to roll anything? You remember when Harold said that we need to be telling him how yeah. we're doing our spells? Yeah, I know. It's um. You have to succeed a... on wisdom of 14 or higher. Yeah, of right. 14. The vicious mockery is just done yeah. by insulting. Yeah, I 16. forgot about that for a second. Damn it! <laughs> Why do I keep failing? Because you're not RPing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, are you gonna? So, with that failing, uh, what are you gonna do now, Uh. Still talking to Katanza. Um, no, nothing else. All right. So now Nether, your turn. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. There. Vicious mockery is new. Leave me alone. I'm gonna jump up onto the ledge. Because okay, I would like you to make a dexterity check. Dexterity check. Yes. <laughs> oh god, we're gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I have a plus two in this. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> it's fun. As you all, as you start taking a step, you notice that, besides the fact that this this bash has been damaged, you notice that one of the stones falls, <laughs> and. You start to fall off the tower, but you quickly grab on to the to the ledge with both your with both your hands hanging from the bastion. I'm okay, guys. I'm okay. Rorik looks to you. I don't think you're okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm okay. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna pull myself. Right, so so go ahead and make a strength check, but that's going to also count as your action. Alright. No. Thank you for something that I'm good with. I got it plus three. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god. Unfortunately, unfortunately, you're still. You try to lift yourself up, but you're still hanging there. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Alright, Sid, your turn. I'm gonna go up here with Neo, and I am going to do another Twinned Chaos Bolt at level 1. Alright, and go ahead and and roll for wild magic. Yep. If I'm correct, you have to do it twice, correct? Someday it's gonna go off, and it's gonna be hard. Oh, I gotta do it twice for <laughs> yeah. if I twin it? Yes, you got Yeah, when you twin okay. it, you gotta do it twice. Okay. Yep, you're good. Okay, so 2d8 on one of them. Okay, so I'm assuming you're aiming at the front two. Yeah, the front two. Yep, okay. Go ahead. Roll for the... Alright. Oh, wait. Well, oh, oh, actually, I forgot. I didn't ever roll for the uh, actual hits. Yeah, you gotta roll for the hits. I forgot about that. Sorry. No worries. Okay, 1d20 plus 5 twice. Yep. 22? That hits easily. The other one doesn't, though. Oh, well. I guess I'll so, just... You, well, the one of them, that, the one in the back, took note of you and noticed that the bolt of energy coming towards him, he ducks <laughs> right over his head. I guess uh, I do have to re-roll for the, uh, the damage. Roll for the... Yeah, roll for the, the closest. Yeah, you're going to roll for the closest one. Okay. Oh, no pluses. And... Four and six... Alright, that's 10 damage. And I will say that is probably going to be force damage. 
All right. So. And five. All right. All right. So and as you fired this bolt, you notice that he not only caught surprise by what was what's been happening. He noticed he staggers as he goes down one knee and tries to get up with as uh, as his hands on one knee, the other on the ground, trying to force himself up as he looks at you, snarling. All right, Neo. <laughs> Go have fun, buddy. Let's do it. So oh, which one of them? Is, somebody which, machine to clip that. Which one of them looks like they're manning the blister? Um, was. the the two in the middle, these mm -hmm. two. Uh, I'm trying to. There we go. Yeah, those two were the ones who were definitely manning it that you caught. Okay. The one in front seemed to be the loader, while the other one in the far back seemed to be giving shouting orders to them. Well, I'm going over Kyal. Put right. myself right in the middle of these two because I don't give off. Fuck. All right. I'm gonna, yep, side of the blade again, just take the battle axe and give this kid a fucking wake up call. Alright, go ahead. Oh, come on. Be nice. Hey. Yep, that hits. Yep, and so the damage is 1d10 plus 8. Alright. 14. So as this one, by the way, yeah, I, I just need to modify it for that. So <clears throat> swinging your flat end of your your weapon does while it does not cause a lethal a kill, it does cause serious injury as you hit it right across his face. <laughs> Would have been you, less painful if you just knocked it out, son. But he's seems to be down while he's down on one knee. He he still doesn't seem to be down for the count, but he is definitely screwed up from that hit. <laughs> Been a whole lot less painful if oh. you just knocked out, buddy. Alright. Now. Mis the mistaken's turn. He's gonna go right... I think right here? Uh, mm -hmm. Or maybe right here, actually, yeah. And he's gonna use burning hands on these three. All right. It's a fifteen-foot cone. Yeah, I'll I'll say uh, I'll, I would I would say if he's if he's standing right here, I would I would count it as hitting him and not Neo. Oh so right. So you still get the three. So. Oh okay. So I can be behind Neo and still get the three without hitting Neo. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll I'll say that. Without. It'll hit, miss yeah. me by like a fucking inch. <laughs> yeah. If you, yeah. Exactly. You, you might Excuse cinch his armor. If he wears any. <laughs> okay, so... Neo and armor, that's All three funny. of them has to make a deck save for 14. Uh, Alright. First one. Nope. First one fails. One okay. in the middle fails. Third one fails. So all three hit. Fuck. 46 on all three of them. Go ahead. I said fire. First one. 14. 18. Yeah. Jesus! Oh, oh my God! God. Uh, Stop lighting up a fire the fire there! <laughs> Some people don't think magic be like it is, <laughs> but it do. Yes. <laughs> so, oh, triple I, kill! So, without, well, yeah, just like before, where he just went on a rampage against the drow. With his burning hands, he just releases a jet of flame that just engulfs all three of the jackals before falling lifelessly. Now, the where jackal's turn. Oh. <laughs> He's going to strike at Neo. Of and he's strike him. What's your armor class? Mine, 14. 14? Uh, yeah, but, uh, he fails that. He'll try to, he'll try to bite. Natural 20. Oh, fuck. 20. No. Oh. And with that, 
So with so including the natural twenty, that's ten points of piercing. Uh, halved. And if it's halved, it's five. Yep. So we he takes. Out of desperation, he instantly clamps down, jotting it onto onto your calf, desperately my, trying to. My calf. Yeah, your calf muscle. <laughs> just. <laughs> But he's already screwed up from the uh, attack you made against him. So oh, now, God. let's roll for the d20. Wait, no, what no, happened Rorick. to Rorik? Rorik. Oh, wait, Rorik. I'm, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Rorik. Yeah, Rorik has Hi. Yeah. Sorry, I, Rorik. I can't mimic. Um, Rorik loaded his <laughs> Arbalest previous Hi. turn. So... Let's go for it. All right. The only one there. Shit. Misses. Mm. Yep. All right. So now let's go ahead and roll that d20. I would like <laughs> Nether to roll. So you're going to add. So you're doing a plus three to your modifier. Okay. That's already how it was. Oh. Alright. Four for mine to your 18. You easily get the momentum back on your side of the battle. As, as you now take note of the battle that's taking place down below, <laughs> you notice that that more of the... They seem uh, to have, fall, have fallen, uh, followed your lead and rushed into the to the second floor and out into the walls. Hey. Elim eliminating. Hacking away through each and every one of them. Oh, God. All right. So, go at, so now let's go to the top. Cadenza. Yep. Your turn. Um, yeah, I'm throwing a dagger. Okay. Beep, beep, beep. I'm assuming you're going to move... Yeah. No, she's still within distance. It's well, I'm just saying. I just, I'm just saying for clarity in regards to. Anyways, go ahead. So now, so yeah, that's she missed anyway. Yeah. Okay. That's it. All right. I have so now. To do. All right, Nether. Nether. Go ahead and make a strength check. <laughs> all right. Let's see if I. Oh. Yeah, you, you're you finally able to pull yourself up, but that's going to cost all your movement. Ouch. Oh, you dope. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're on the wall, safely. <laughs> Guys, I'm on the wall. Alright. There's two chests up there. I achieved my goal. Alright. 30 feet. Perfect. That's just. All right. I'm right. guessing you're gonna use your flames. Yeah, I'm going. All right. To... Go ahead. Just. Yep, that easily hits. Well, how much damage? More, but, uh, Probably enough to kill it because it's already nearly dead. Hopefully. Come on, D8. Five? Alright. You don't Completely have a fried. No. <laughs> I thought so. Yeah. So now, let's see what happens. Okay. Very good. So, as you all complete and secure in this location, you find more of the uh, of the wardens rushing up, hey. and one of and one of them approaches all of the, approaches you guys and says, "Well, thank you. We'll we'll take care of the blister from here. Yeah. Here, okay. you, here, use this. You'll. I'm assuming you're probably going to need it." For what, it, what lies ahead, and each it, of you, both of you, every single player of you, you both get a two, 
two greater healing potions. Two greater cool. healing potions. Ooh. Nice. Manage equipment. Add items. Yeah. Luna, shut up. Okay, right. I got one. So, um, hey, could really you? Quickly, uh, how? I, I couldn't help. Huh? Yeah, I couldn't help but notice um these. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to open those too. Yeah, so go ahead and go ahead and, and uh, roll an investigation. We. Okay. You'll I'll do it. My loot. <laughs> I can roll investigation. Investigation. Alright, well, Neo and Cadenza said they're going to check it out. So Aww. Ahead. Yeah, so you wait, those two. Enough, <laughs> I have a good investigation. It Ten. would be great for me. Twelve. So as you all open it up, Cadenza you finds another magic item. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Not this time, unfortunately. But you it's do it's, find it's ammunition. Though, I bet it's all ammunition. Yes, it is. You find okay. ammunition and, uh, and things to help repair the ballista if need be. Oh, okay. Okay, wait, I'm gonna wait, act wait, like I wasn't Zora trying to steal stuff and just and just go. You get onto this. We got no, things it's, to do. Oh, he's telling us. Or like, is that it? Because we already it's, opened it's it. Just you already opened it and repairs. Okay. Yeah, it's just for ammunition. Okay. So let's get it. All right. So, so as the battle goes on around you, you take note that the defenders seem to be holding their ground, despite the fact that they seem to be outnumbered. And you take note that unlike the normal sort of tactical <laughs> formation march that they that people normally do. These the these wardens seem to be acting a bit more fer ferociously. Almost rivaling that of of the jackals. As you as you take note as from the battle going on down below, you notice even one biting down onto the jackal's throat and ripping its throat out. Oof. That's not healthy. <laughs> <laughs> But it's um, can I ask out of curiosity? You know, you know, you said the battle's not in our odds. What are the odds exactly? Like how how many to one is there? Well, perception check. I'm doing all of this oh, with cool one. <laughs> can we all roll for that perception? Boy. Go ahead. Yeah. That's mine, and... Here's mine. <laughs> wow. So for those who roll... Wait, wait, wait. Plus four. And that's works. Right. The boy gets the highest perception for yeah. one. Oh my god, oh, mistaken! Never mind. Never mind. Mistaken. <laughs> mistaken, got it. Yeah. <laughs> so, alright. So first, from what you can tell, Neo, you, from, from the forces that are initially inside, they seem to be outnumbered three to one. However, yeah. oh, Sid, okay. mistaken. Oh, mistaken. 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 You take note, however, that most of them seem to be jackals. However, he also notices rather large figures beginning to emerge, climbing over the wall. The one. Climbing over the walls, the ones. In fact, funny enough, the same wall that you, the section of the wall that you guys can see down, and you notice that these hulking creatures are easily, <clears throat> sending, uh, easily, just un taking down the wardens. <sighs> and he also notices at the gate, three, hulking figures, much larger than anything, any of the others. Whoa. That's not good. <laughs> Three to one. Then it is a fair fight. All right. So. What are our options, Harold? Yeah. So, as you as you all finish this, you begin to notice that unfortunately, there is still the conflict going on in the the armory, but it looks like the jackals have the upper hand. However, you also take note that. Another great sphere is approaching. Oh boy! It's great. Oh jeez. Yes, and you see it coming from the from where the gate is located. It seems that like one figure just starting to gesture with his arm, and within a moment, the sickly green energy begins to appear once again and starts flying. 
Oh, another explosion. <laughs> And it sends it right into the, a section of the wall that is where that is on the opposite side of of the of the keep. And you notice more of these figures begin rushing in to the, through the breach. So you have you have three options. You can help the armory. You can rush to the gatehouse, or try to hold back the breach. Well, I think we should probably go for the if, breach. But also, as you notice, that when you're running down the wall, that you notice along the section of the wall, that there are also those monstrous figures. So we got four options then. You got technically four options, yes. I think we should be going to the gate. Didn't you say that the there was one of those green spheres that came from one of the gate from the gate? Yes. Yeah, but if we focus directly on the gate, they could become overwhelmed in here from the breach. True, but what's making these breaches could make more breaches, and as, we kind of stop. As, as, as you are all discussing this, you notice that the wardens are now aiming the ballista at where the breach is and start firing upon the upon. All right, the, upon well, the I area. can deal with the breach. Let's go <laughs> fuck this gate up. Yeah. All right. So, are you? Yeah, gonna, I agree with you. Right, gate. So, what direct? So what direction are you heading? Are you guys going to head straight uh, along the section of the wall towards the gate? Or are you going to go on the ground floor? Well, no. Hmm. What's on the floor? What's on the ground floor? Perception pure check. Chaos. Pure yeah, chaos? Yeah, it's just pure battle. The, the, just should... the pure battle taking on. Just like, yeah, okay, everything it. that Neo loves. We should probably take the wall then. Yeah, I'll take All the right. wall. All right. Wall so... be quicker. All right, so you guys are going along the wall. Give me one moment. No, oh, you mean down here? Oh shit. Yeah. So we're just. I just. So give me one. Second. Wait, weren't there creatures on the wall? Yeah, but they yeah, were they taken were. care of. Dispatched. Yeah. So oh. now, on, give me one sec. Need to change things up once more. I mean, they weren't taken care of. I'm just going for the less options. Well, I mean, the monsters on the wall, they were taken care of by the wardens. And now this one is Neo's. <laughs> yeah, I uh, told Rourke's actual controller that he needs to add that inventory, because I'm like, I can't do it! Oh, yeah, no worries. Yeah, I, I can't do it either, and uh, I, I have to keep tabs of what's oh, happening. Yep, that's right. Okay, I think that's everyone. Good, good. Oh, casting the spells and stuff is pretty easy. Same with the attacks. Yeah, the, all right. Yeah, I kind of Inventory, okay. you can't all change. Make your way. No, I can't change the spells. The spells, I can't. I have to keep up with my head. As you all make your way down the wall, you take note of the battle that's taking place around. Oh. oh boy. And you notice among what? them mm. one of them takes a hold. And let me show you. Oh it's this Hang on, whatever Yeah. Whatever this creature is, it stands at around the same height as Neo, but its oh, no. body what? seems contorted and twisted as with tendrils appearing out from all over its body just right. filled with rot and flesh before we start this would it be fair to say that that's not a were beast yeah that's nature check not... cadenza's trying to figure out uh okay. what the fuck this shit is and so Same. is yep, go ahead. yeah i guess me yep. and me and himself are yep. gonna too that line I... and yeah, works. here's mine okay so from oh. Okay, so you all rolled high enough for this. From what? From those who rolled up uh, from from ten and higher, you can tell that whatever this thing was, it is not any. It's not natural at all. Is it however, a weird creature though? For, however, for those who rolled fifteen and higher, you can tell that this use that this is or. What used to be a werewolf. 
Oh, fuck. Oof. <laughs> Bastard. You can um, all, and for and for the one who rolled um eighteen, that 18? was that was missed. Missed takes note of the fact that there seems to be unnatural abilities behind it. As it, as you take note that one of them grabs one of the wardens by the throat and just chucks them across the wall, oh, <laughs> right into right into the right into the second wall. Right behind it, the second layer of defense. Oh God! Yeah. Oh, Who knows abyssal? <laughs> uh, nope. nope. I hadn't cast for the trans. All right. So, nope. so you just hear this guttural distortion of sound as it looks around. All right. Oh, so, go ahead. What would you? guys like to do. Oh. It's Cadenza's first turn Turn first again, right? Yes, that's correct. Cadenza, you get to go. Uh, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Sweet. Cadenza's nope. going to... Doing initiative? Nope, no, we're keeping the same yeah. initiative. Yeah, same just... initiative. Alright, Harold, you're for... you're, you have to do 14 Dissonant Whispers spell. Alright. So for Wisdom? Is it? Yes. And what? And what does this do? Uh, the, the target must make a wisdom saving throw. Failed save takes three d6 psychic damage and must immediately use the reaction if available as far as away as the speed lies away from you. Okay. So. Oh, and when you cast a spell slot of second level or higher, the damage increases by one d6 for each level above the first slot. All right. So, so, we, so, it so failed. that makes four. You failed? It failed. So Cadenza takes a deep breath and whispers in and sings in an angry, angry tone towards Mass Beast of Doom. Yeah. I did mention that I'm heading for the main one, right? So wait, does yeah. that mean I'm casting four D sixes? Yeah. Yep. Sweet. You dare to attack each of us? Did you think was going to happen? What spell is this? Dissonant Whispers. Dissonant Whispers. Oh, cool. All right. Very 13 good. 13 damage on the big guy. Yeah. From whispering. <laughs> That's how you bod. A... You just sing and somehow it hurts the bod. enemy. So, Things explode. I you. As you release these whispers, it seems to react to it in a, in a violent way. Just as it seems to grasp a hold of whatever you can call a, if it even looks like a head. But he doesn't seem to be willing to run. In fact, he looks to you. Immune to um, it's immune to. F oh, right, because it's supposed to. Because it's supposed to use its reaction to move away. Yep. yep. So it's now looking at you, Cadenza. Great. Well. Uh, all right. So, Nether. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, What'd you like to do? Taking a step forward. I'm going to raise up my hands and cast Burning Hands. On which one? Oh, is that doing uh, the cum thing? Yeah. On the okay. Three. This one. This. All right, but but three. you will hit that. You will hit that guy. Will I? Yes. Okay. All right. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay, so that's good. <coughs> It'll be. What was this for? This for the first one? So that fails. The second target? Alright. 
Second target fails. Now for the the friendly. I swear if that one. Ooh, you got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> As you release the jet of flames, the oh. the jackal, t the dot, the duck, and and move out of the way, while the while the the no, 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 I can't speak today. The warden takes note of it and steps side steps for a moment, just and looks at you. Watch where you're aiming that. I'm sorry, I, I didn't. <laughs> and. With that, Sid, your turn. Okay! I am going to use my last second level spell slot on a chaos bolt right on the big bad. Alright, roll the d roll a d20 for wild magic. Yep. Okay. Okay, go ahead. 2d8. Oh! <laughs> oh! It gets to no, bounce off and hit another one! All right. So and I'll and I'll say it hits. It and it says it hits the enemy or. It's a uh, any person. enemy of my choosing. All right, go ahead and choose this. Uh, yeah, I'll choose this yeah, one right yeah. here. I, I, am I hitting it? Is it showing up? There. Yep. Okay. All right, go ahead. Move so, for that one too. Sixteen. That hits. Okay, here's for it's, uh, it's 2d8. It does it again! <laughs> <laughs> oh Alright, so while it bounce, while it's the, in like a chain reaction, one goes off the, on the creature, and the other one hits the, at a much weaker state, to the jackal. But he seems to be hanging in there. What type of damage is this for the, uh... uh I still haven't state? gotten that yet. I get to right, hit it again. Ahead. I get to chain it again. My Do you chain it. it every single time that you roll? It yeah, numbers? it chains. Yeah. yeah, when I roll doubles, it chains. Oh, That's very impressive. nice. impressive. Fifteen. Uh, and I'm assuming you're hitting the one in the far back? Yeah, I'll hit that one. Alright. Okay, it gets the 2d8 until I can <laughs> not get a Oh, oops. I, I messed up there. Don't count that one. Uh, that one doesn't count. Okay. There. All right. That's the end of the chain. Yep. And okay, all that damage you. is a four and a three. So that is force damage. Okay. And what about the one for the uh, the were the former werewolf or whatever it is? Well, that is uh, two d eight, which was its uh, sixteen plus two d six. Go ahead and roll the two d six. Additional ten. Very nice. Okay. Very nice. This is for the next one. Eight. Okay. Another eight. <laughs> and then the last one. Seven. All Damn. right. <laughs> God. Very nice. It's very nice. I applaud you for that. Okay. Three so, hits and I get. So what? So what type of damage is it for the werewolf? It's force. All force damage. All force. Very good. Yeah. Okay. So it. So no. So. All right. So you're all good on that. Mm -hmm. And as you take, as you cast this fantastic magic, you, it's, the the warden seems to take note of it, and seems to be brimming with a bit, a bit more confidence and assurance, seeing that you have caused this much damage to that, whatever the hell that thing is. It's, it's from what you can tell, a bit banged up. Okay, so Leo. Hello. What about the other two? Well, Sam, but the others are like, they're screwed pretty badly. Okay. <laughs> but not dead yet. Nope. Going over here and I'm busting this nerd up. Oh. All right. Give so go the ahead. Side of the blade special. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> that just went through and tore up their back so line. He ducks. Ah well. Nope. Oh, well, that's good. And I just like went in there and just went for the big baddie and was just like, yeah, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think I just caused a massive amount of chaos there. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now, it's, it's probably Miss turn, isn't he? So now it's a uh, mistaken's turn. Uh, I don't have mm -hmm. control over him. 
Oh, I thought I gave you control. Here, let me fix that. Okay. You are good now. Okay, uh, I think he uh, used up all his uh, level 2 slots, sadly. I'm gonna go right here, and, uh... Actually... Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna ca uh, cast Burning Hands at level 1. Alright, go ahead. Uh, no, that is a deck save for them. All In right. the 15 slot cone. And what do they need for it to pass? 14. Ooh, 13. Go ahead. No, 14. No, 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 I'm saying he, he rolled a 13. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you hit. Okay. Oops. So go ahead. You did do all of them, right? In the 15 oh, right. cone? Oh, yeah, that's right, it's a cone. Okay, the second one... The, the second one, it succeeds. Okay. Is that all? Um, yeah, I would say so. All in the 15 foot cone? Oh, okay, so even the your buddy there. All right. It should hit. Oh, he got lucky. He, your buddy got lucky. Now for the other jackal. Yep. He failed. So the first two in the front. Okay. Of the those jackals. 11 and 11. All right. So with that... Both of them, while they're still holding on, not so much anymore as they're struggling to get uh, to stay up. They're still they're they're pretty badly burned from that. I think I think we have pyromaniacs here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Just a little bit. Hey, yeah. mine was at least force damage. Yeah. All right. Um, the werejackals or the werebeasts turn in this sense. Yeah. All right. So. One's rushing in, another's rushing in, rushing over here. This one, moving right towards the buddy. And for him... Cat see incoming. What, see what happens. Ooh. Hi. Yep. Yeah, first one hits. Second one doesn't, but it's probably going to be enough. If he rolls high, yes. Oh, Once no. more, as he decides to rush towards you, he decides it decides to take its moment to deal with any obstacle in path that in that's in its way. Without any hesitation, with the back, with the slash of its claw across the across the warden, falls off the wall to his oh. demise. Oh. oh, and rushes forward. And now, for the jackal that's attacking Nether, this one will be attacking Nether. And he gets an advantage, but that won't be needed. You take six points of slashing damage, Nether. From, from the jackal, that's right here. Now, this one is going to attack Neo. And he has advantage. He hits. Seven points of slashing damage, Neo. Is that halved? And that is down to four. So four. Okay. The other one. Then... Nope. That last one that's aiming at you. Get nope. It. Yeah, so four, only four points of slashing damage to you. I got an idea. Might work. All right, now it's Rorik's turn. Uh, da, da, da. Rorik is going to rebuild the Arbalesk and. I would assume he already did, so he's yeah. going to fight. Oh, he did! Yay! In between the fight. Yeah. So he can shoot at the main dude. Oh, All right, God. go ahead. Don't hit any of us. 1d20 plus plus plus. Plus five. All right, go ahead. That is one. one. So, one d ten. This is so much better than Rorik. <laughs> I'm 
shooting once all the time. So eight. Eight. All right. As the as the armless bolt goes flying in towards him, it hits one of the tendrils, and it seems to writhe. Moment, but it still continues moving forward. It damaged it, but seems to be not as shaken up as compared to the jackal. It's still trying to go after Cadenza, isn't it? Oh yeah, he's trying yeah. to make his way towards the Cadenza. There's just it a lot like, in front you know, of him. Still in the back, going la la. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was like, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> It's like you just got a wall of people All right. sitting there for you. Now, I would like Sid. Okay. I'm correct, you haven't rolled yet for the D20. No, I did so, already. Oh, you did already? Yeah. Uh, Nether, did you? Yes. All right. Nether so went. Cadenza. Nether went. Yep. So go ahead and and roll, and you get uh you you have the momentum on your side. So go ahead and roll with a plus one. Just one. Because yeah, you have we, the momentum on your side. Yeah, we didn't kill anything either. We didn't kill anything either. Oh. Uh, shit. I can, I can Unfortunately, the, the momentum's on their side. It seems that the appearances of these beasts, this beast, or should I say... Abomination? <laughs> yeah. Beasts. Oh, good, there's another one. Oh yes. no! Wait, two. what the fuck is oh that? Oh my god, there's another. That's one. more. There, from what you can tell, similar to What's whatever that? the heck, the one you that's charging at you. You nasty. Oh god, this is bad. I'm running out of power. <laughs> you went to ham on the little fellas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, on the one big fella, actually. Well, I guess I could have saved. A no, few you lot. went pretty so now... ham on the little. Yeah. Two. I only went ham on big fella. So it's all right. I never but, run out of power. Yeah. So as the momentum is now going on their side. Ooh. As this, as the appearance of these creatures seem, you notice something begins to happen with them as they continue moving forward. You notice great green clouds of smoke begin to appear around them. Oh Ready? no! Oh, that doesn't sound right. Um. Hold on. Just. Your... Just going to go ahead and show you where that is. So. Begin to appear right around here. As well as here. Those who are within it, so that would, I would say, miss me by like an inch. Yeah, miss you by, miss you guys by an inch, but not for mistaken though. I know. That, yeah, so for mistaken though, it's, it's. I'm just trying to emphasize that it is that he's in there as well as those two wardens. Oh, is there anything about it that? Uh... Roll for perception with advantage. For me or mistaken. Um, go ahead and, Mistaken. Uh, yeah, I guess no, no, I would want, uh, no, I want actually, uh, Sid to do it. Why? It's mistaken in it, though. Okay. Yeah. I'm just saying, so you would, from what you can tell, this, this smoke seems oddly familiar, similar to what you had seen at the arena. Ooh. So it's like the Alpha Warg stuff. Uh, da 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 da. Get dead, are doing Arcana checks. Go ahead, do our guys. Twenty and Cadenza. All right, hold on. Fifteen on work. All right, I'm DMing you something, Cadenza, <laughs> for your okay. roll. <laughs> oh, 
I have to leave in half an hour, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, Sorry. we know. <laughs> Alright. Okay. There you go. Alright. Now. So go ahead and have... Oh. So, you can all go ahead and, let's see, we're going to the top of the round, so Cadenza. Yep. What would you like to do? I can't do Dissonant Whispers again. I really don't like... I'm gonna throw a dagger <laughs> at this guy, because he's still trying to go after me. Yep, Hard. go ahead. Hold on. Dagger, 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 five. Nine, that sucked. Yeah. Fortunately, the distance did not meet. It did not meet the distance, so. You can still pick it up, but you missed, essentially. Yeah. Alright. Okay, yeah. So now it's Nether's turn. Alright. I'm gonna... So you're not in the cloud, but you are right in front of it. Alright. And I still know that... <coughs> I'm gonna do a dual wielding. <laughs> Shush. Go ahead. <laughs> what are you doing? You're doing it on the jackal, I assume. Yeah. Go ahead. Right. Why? Oh, Why? nice. Okay. Second one hits. Go ahead. Come here. <laughs> she that loud? Yeah. Not overpowering. Really? Nope, that's under the bed. All right. With with great ease in your second strike, you easily cut down the 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 jackal. <laughs> Straight down the middle, in half. <laughs> All right. Falling lifelessly, in both pieces. Now, net. And so, Sid, your turn. I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to use a twinned firebolt. All right. Roll for. I need you to roll the. I need you to roll for wild magic. Nope. Twice. Cantrip. Oh, cantrip. Okay. Go ahead then. Oh. You're aiming at the jack. You're aiming at the jackals or the werewolf. I'm aiming at one jackal and one werewolf. All right. So I'm assuming that's the jackal. That one's the werewolf. Okay. Yep. So now that one. So go ahead and roll for damage. Okay. So. 1d10 plus 5. 8. 8. <laughs> With the release of the fire bolt, despite the cloud appearing, you see that it seems to engulf the figure. And it, he seems to be infuriated and also pretty banged up. <laughs> <sighs> now, Neo, your turn. <sighs> Smacking this idiot. All right, go ahead. Hello, twenty-two. All right, go ahead. <laughs> ten. Mm, it's ten. 
All right. This is still the flat of my axe. In fact, I'm going to roll, since he's so close to the wall. Please tell me. I... Oh, no. Nope. Oh, thank you. He's still... Okay. You almost accidentally <laughs> killed it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> he stag as you hit it across the face, he staggers for a moment against the edge of the wall, but finds himself still standing. Barely missing his de Barely missing his demise. Alright. Now Is he not knocked out, are you serious? He's not nope, he's not oh, knocked out. This one was God. That one isn't the one you hit yet. That's why. Damn, man. Alright. Now, Mistaken's turn. And I would like you to roll for Constitution. Uh, yep. Oh, man. Con. Constitution save. Plus one. Shoot. Alright. He's good. Okay. Well, then. So. And... Keep in mind now, he is now in combat with, he's locked in combat with that beast. Yeah, I know. He's just going to use uh, Burning Hands. Alright, go ahead. And it's going to, it's in a cone, and it's a deck save. Alright. The 15 foot cone. Yep. Alright. 18. 18? Yep. Crap. Alright. So it doesn't take any damage, correct? On the first one. Yeah, that so that was the so that was the abomination. Now for the for the jackal. Yeah, the three jackals. Yeah. So Yep, all jackals survived. Oh they all made the fourteen deck save. Indeed they did. Oh Indeed they did. Well, that's the end of his turn. Alright. And he's down to one spell slot. Now, it's the ja it's the beast's turn. But for them, they need to roll. Okay. <coughs> Apparently, the ones that are in the poison cloud, from what you could tell, it's saying... It, they seem to be wise enough to actually hold their breath. Now. Wait. This one is going to attack. Mistaken. Oh no. First the claws. That hits. <laughs> oh no. 11 points of slashing damage. And now for the bite. It hits. Oh god. And four points of piercing damage. I would like to you to also make a necrot uh, constitution save. Oh god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Gotta get higher than fourteen. Okay. 14 or higher. 14 or higher. That's what you've got to get. Oh! Alright. Okay. Now. Need to roll. 10 points of necrotic damage. Oh! Ouch! He's down. Alright. <coughs> so. With that, and because of his unnatural bite, you see him go down, and he ins and for this, he actually instantly fails one day death save. Oh. So. The uh, now the jack, now the jackal's turn. Oh, Neo. Fails, fails. One natural twenty. Shit. And the other one <laughs> All right. So five points, and that includes the uh, resistance. So that's five points of slashing damage for you. For who? Neo. Oh, Neo. Yeah. And three points of, uh, yeah, 
So that's actually yes. So five points of slashing damage with resistance. All right. Now, Rorik's turn. Uh, da, da, da. Rorik needs to use a turn to refill his arrow. All right. So, with that, I'm gonna go. At, we're gonna go ahead and roll the from here. So let's see. One is down. Momentum. All right. And for you, you have one, and you killed one. So you get a plus one modifier. I would like Cadenza. Actually, no. Cadenza already rolled. So Cadenza rolled roll. last time. Yes. Yeah. So Sid, go ahead and roll. Okay. Can I use Tides of Chaos on this? Has Nether had a chance to roll yet? Yeah. You yeah. Did Nether once. rolled. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going along with what I see on the screen. So, I'll I'll, I'll allow it. Okay. If that's from you, Sid, correct? Yep. All right. Oh. So, fortunately, not enough. Oh. As the momentum now starts That's swinging, good. even more so <laughs> for them, as you notice, even more begin to emerge. Oh, climbing no. up. Black guys, run! We might be outnumbered, guys. <laughs> uh, no kidding. Yeah. Let's 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 see how this goes. Yeah. And, to... as, and as you make your way, you also notice that these two have succumbed to the to the poisonous gas. Fuck! They did fall nothing. Lifeless. <laughs> Those three wardens did nothing. Didn't have a chance to, unfortunately. Garbage. <laughs> <laughs> they not even have a turn? Nope. That was two yeah. rounds, they didn't even have a turn. Yeah, that's yep. kinda of weird. Harold, did you forget to give them their turn? I'm not gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, forgot to, he forgot to give them. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Should that, it's, uh, your turn. Right, so first thing first, Cadenza think of and know what it is, so I am casting Comprehend Language. Alright. So, as it begins to speak once more. You begin to notice something, and I'm DMing this to you. Yeah. Fifteen minutes. Yeah. We gotta hurry. Yeah, don't worry. Well, I mean, either that or pause at this point. Yeah, don't worry. We probably That's pause it. the battle. Yeah. No, no, I'll give you food when we're done, I promise. You said Mist was down, right, Sid? Yes, he's down. With one failed death save because of the bite. Yeah. That's not gonna stay. There is something I can do as a bonus action. Ha ha! Oh, It's a really long. Th Should I cast my bonus action while you're typing? Yeah, go ahead and do that. Okay, bonus action, healing word on Miss Stegan. All right. With, 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 with Bardic Inspiration. So that would be one D. Da da da. 1d4 plus 4 plus 1d6. Alright. Go ahead. And I just sent you the DM. Okay. So that's the d4 plus 4. Mm -hmm. That sucked. Oof. Plus d6. Yeah. Go ahead. So that, that was healing on... Um, Mistaken. Alright. 
So that's a total of seven, correct? Yep. Yep. All right. So he's back up. Really? Uh, how does that work if he is if it didn't fully heal him? No, it doesn't have to hundred percent heal. Yeah, I mean, it didn't it even doesn't... it didn't even go past the negatives yet. Then he's not up. Oh, it's still okay. I thought it, I didn't know if it was in the negatives. I just heard unconscious. So. Yeah, yeah, I didn't hear get, negatives when either. When you get a healing spell cast on you, you immediately go to zero. Immediately, yeah. Yeah. negative. Okay. You're, imme yeah. you're immediately stabilized. Yeah. So you're stabilized. So he's stabilized. So, so for that purpose, he's he's not really in danger. Okay. For now. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. So. With that, let's. Oh, I'm gonna do one thing first. Okay. So. So, let me, so I'm going to go ahead and add this then. Perfect, all right. So, let's go ahead and start off with Cadenza. Actually, Cadenza yeah. just use her turn. It'd be Nether's turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Nether, go ahead. Yeah, Cadenza just, like, cast a whole bunch of shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so nether. Mm. Right, let's see what you got. All right, go ahead. What are you doing? He's attacking. Yep, yeah, it hits. The second one. That hits too. So go ahead, roll for damage for both. Quick succession from both your strikes, causing it to bleed heavily as it staggers backwards, trying to trying to get back. But yeah, it's it's really banged up. It's on it's on death store. Okay, is that it? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. I'm going to be uh, twinning a Chaos Bolt. Okay, but before you do so... Huh? Something's happening. Uh-oh. Alright. As, okay. as you prepare your spell, Sid, you notice this dark beam of energy just goes boom, <laughs> flying past you. Striking the jack, the jackal right behind this creature, huh. causing killing it instantly as it falls to its death. What you find what appearing behind you, a, a familiar to Bax, oh. with his paw oh, out. Look who showed up with and... with dark, oh, right. mysterious energy dancing along his fingertips, while in his other hand, you see a hooked blade with the handle covered in matte fur, taking a resemblance to that, resemblance to that of a claw. 
Do you see a different look on his face as he fo- seems to be one focusing on on the whatever sort of magic he just casted? So, now that he's in, go ahead, Sid. Okay, well, twitting Chaos Bolt. Let's see, let's first the two d20s for magic, wild magic. Yep, go ahead. Okay. That's <laughs> plus know. five on the big bad monster. Mm-hmm. 22. That is. That is. And then that bad. one side monster by Neo. Uh, crit. crit! So that's a crit. So, go I'll ahead and roll. Something. Yeah, so go, so go ahead and roll for the one next to Neo. I'm assuming you mean this one, was it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay, well, what does crit do exactly, though? Doubles his damage. Okay. So, 20. Within an inst- instance for that fella. Yeah, but, dead. yeah, I to... he pretty—he essentially disappears. <laughs> Nothing is left of him. Eight, three. That could could have been. Let's see. That could have been twenty-two. No, thunder oh, no, or fire damage. Oh yeah, but still, there's nothing left of him. <laughs> yeah, we'll just say it's fire now, damage. Just the... so go ahead and roll for the damage against the beast. Nine. And All right. Ten. Right. Okay, and with that, let's see what type of damage it is. Six and three. Fire damage. Within that moment, as you cast that spell, <laughs> send it flying towards the creature. It rides in pain for a moment before. Release the one last guttural. <laughs> And falls lifeless to the ground. Does Harold, the- Harold, you need to DM me what he said because technically Dudza can understand all of it. Hold or on. parts of it. Yeah, so give me one moment. Because it lasts for the hour. Yep. Sorry, small yep. reminder. It lasts for the hour. I know, I know. Technically the <laughs> duration of this fight because I guess we're not going to be able to finish it tonight. Okay. Yeah. About our sorcery points now. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what? Okay, there we go. Now, oh, hopefully. Mm-hmm. Let's go. So now, okay. so now that he's, now that it's dead, you, it's at this moment that these jack, that jackals near Neo. Take note of what just happened, <laughs> and their eyes widen. Clearly not, not expecting this turn of events. Especially seeing what has happened to that great beast. So, so for this, of uh, Neo, mm-hmm. because of what of what's just transpired, you get advantage. Good. Since so you're going to attack next, so go ahead. Bad. Go ahead. Natural twenty. Go ahead. I don't need your advantage. So that's crit. That's one d ten plus mm-hmm. eight max. So eighteen damage. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, is, it, is crit times sure. two? Is crit times two, or is it just max? I thought it was times two. I'm pretty sure it's times two. Okay, yeah. so eighteen times two, uh, and that's thirty-six. Yeah, it, it doesn't even matter. He's he's Bye-bye. knocked unconscious to a point that one could almost wonder if he was if he was killed, but you know he's not. I love being below level 5. I can't do anything else. That's it. Alright. Now. And I gotta go. Yep, so I'm just wrapping up these sets of turns and then we're going to then we're going to stop for them. For the night. Okay? So. Mistaken's turn. See you, Neo. See you, Neo. 
Bye, Neo. I'm gonna sit in here and watch the end of the. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. okay. So go ahead. So go ahead. Um, what's his uh mistaken? You said mistaken. Yeah, yeah he's unconscious, but stay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, so then it's the jackal's turn. Wait, I thought oh. we fixed that because it went automatically to zero when I healed it. Yes, yeah, he's stable. Oh, Just so unconscious. he's unconscious but stable. Yeah. Okay. Also, wait, never mind. So, let's, and what's going to happen is they're going to try, he's going to try booking it. So, Neo, I'll you get, get an attack advantage. of opportunity. Yes, you get an attack of opportunity. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shit. Right. I got an advantage though, don't I? Yes, you do. Okay. So, it, yeah, you hit. And uh, now damage. So that's D10 plus 8. Yeah. Yep. Easily knock him out with these. Now run from me, son. <laughs> the other jackal seems, seems to be troubled by this turn of events and try and notices that he seems to be for a moment be before he tries booking it nice. away towards the wall but at this moment I would like you someone to roll who would like to roll for this one I will alright so you get since what has happened one two three four five six Jesus. You, get, you get a plus six to your modifier that's oh, fucking wow. shit <laughs> you fucked it up. How was I supposed to know I get it in that one? Actually, God. oh, he didn't. I rolled a six. God damn it! Oh wow! <laughs> <What>? <laughs> with with this turn of event, oh, and what has happened along the wall, you notice somehow the, on the sec second wall, all all of the war. All of these warrants, and I'm even sorry, more so, the wardens. Yeah, okay. Ready in their bows. Ready! Fire! And release the string, sending the arrows flying with great precision as each of these, each of these jackals are fall to the ground, lifeless. Uh... And I need to go ahead and roll for those two fellas. The first one. All right, so this one. All right, and even as the ball is released, those the two that are still around, both are heavily injured by this, by the volley as they struggle go for a moment to get up, but they're still not down for the count yet. But they see now that they're outnumbered, and that the tide just might be turning against them. And that is where we're going to end tonight's session. Okay. Wait, what hey. about Rorik's turn? I'm gone, okay. goodbye. Alright, see so, yeah. We'll go ahead and do the Rorik thing real quick. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, what about Rorik? Because right. he can roll to try to hit this guy. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, I, th I just felt like we should do yeah, all of no them worries. before following it. Yeah. Oh, that's well, I thought I, no. I thought I did follow it, that's why. But yeah. No. Alright. Because remember, Rorik goes after. He missed. Yeah. I thought. Yeah, I he missed anyway. Alright. 